Good, good, good. Allenwood, New Jersey. Traveling practice session number 54. Yes, 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 yes. Preloaders, VI preloaders. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you notice by now, or at least you should. Man, I am excited. So, yes. I'm in Allenwood, New Jersey. I'm at Grace Bible Church. They were gracious enough to host me again. And the last time I was here was back in May of this year. And the weather wasn't this beautiful, right? It rained. We still got one through nine and the bonus in. The skies opened up on us on Follow the Leader. But we got it in, but it was gray, right? Today, no chance of rain. I'm extremely excited about this. I'm already set up. Um, I got something new for you guys too. For those of you that are here for the first time, first of all, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. And even those that, that watch me already, if you are not sure if you're subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps me out. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. And that's what we're out here for today. We're out here to be the boss of our motorcycle. And be the boss of your motorcycle simply means we're not going to be intimidated by these things when we slow down between 1 and 10 miles per hour. That's the speed range where most motorcycle riders are extremely uncomfortable on the motorcycle, extremely intimidated. In other words, they're not the boss. Well, we're going to take care of that out here. And remember, guys, being the boss of your motorcycle means any type of motorcycle, not just this type. Sports bikes, adventure bikes, touring bikes, whatever kind of motorcycle you ride, you need to be the boss. You need to be in control of it at all times. Also, keep this in mind, this is not about you riding like me, like a motor officer, like a, com like a competition rider. That's not what this is about. This is about giving you the basic fundamentals that you should have already gotten to operate your motorcycle safely. And I'm guaranteeing you that you're going to actually enjoy riding your motorcycle way more. Okay. And lastly, on this topic, understand that being the boss of your motorcycle doesn't mean you need to make an 18 foot U-turn, right? No. Remember, there's different levels of bosses, no matter what job you're in, all right? There's bosses that can fire you and there's bosses that can't. So you don't have to be the CEO, right? <laughs> you could be a low level boss, right? As long as you have some level of confidence and control on your motorcycle, you're a boss. It's important that you know that, all right? Listen, I wanna thank all of you guys. I wanna thank everybody that's coming out here today all right, to practice. I want to thank everybody that's coming out here to just observe. I want to thank everybody in Preloader Nation for practicing um, and sharing this information with people that you care about and even sharing it with people that you don't even know, right? Because again, like I always say, it's, it's, in, it's incumbent upon us that if we know how to do something, especially something this important, that we share it, right? This is an each one teach one environment on this channel. This channel is all about positivity. There's no judgment. There's no arrogance. Right? We check our egos. I was about to say at the door. There's no door. But we take our egos and we leave them at the curb. And we go out here, we have fun, and we practice. All right? And that's what we're going to do today. Um, I got 15 VI preloaders that are going to be participating today. So it's going to be a good amount of people. Um, and we're going to get it in. All right? I got one through nine out here and a bonus. And we're going to do the slow ride. I'm sorry. We're going to do the slow race. And, of course, we're going to do follow the leader. And I got something new out here again, always thinking about new things to give to you guys. All right. So anyway, without further ado, guys, we're going to get started. I love you guys. And after today, tomorrow, I'll be in Columbia, Maryland to do this all over again with a whole new group of people. All right. You guys know when the VI preloaders get here, what we're going to do, we're going to talk to them, find out who they are, where they're from, what they ride how long they've been riding, and more importantly, how long they've been practicing slow speed riding. That's always the most important question, as far as I'm concerned, that I ask them. All right? All right, guys, let's do it. All right, what's your name, Joe? Joe Monteleone. Where are you from? Uh, Lakewood, New Jersey, which is about 12 miles from here. Awesome. And before I ask any more questions, thank you again, man, 
for providing this facility for us to use and mm. blocking off with Our cones pleasure. and coffee and munchkins and just Our pleasure, brother. outstanding, man. You're from here? Yes. Okay, what kind of motorcycle do you ride? Uh, 1998 Honda Valkyrie. You also have a? Goldwing. Yes. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Probably better than 20 years, maybe. 20 okay. Years. More importantly, how long have you been slow speed practicing? Hardly. Okay, good. <laughs> That's on why I'm here. A, there you go. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Uh, 2, maybe. Okay, good. And why are you here today? Get better at what, what you do. <laughs> That's it, brother. Good to see you again, man. Thanks, man. Okay. What's your name? Michael. Mike, where are you from? Uh, South Plainfield, New Jersey. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Eight years. What kind of motorcycle do you ride? Right now it's uh, Indian Chieftain 2021. Okay, and how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Haven't been. So okay, good. Yeah, this is brand new to me. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Oh, zero. Okay. Straight up zero. And why are you here today? I want to be the boss of my bike. There we go, brother. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ariel Colazzo. Ariel, where are you from? Uh, Plainfield, New Jersey. Okay, and what kind of motorcycle do you ride? Uh, 2022 Indian Scout Bobber. It's beautiful, too. And thank you. Thank you for entrusting me to ride it. Thank quick, you. Quick around the parking lot. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Well, I got my license 12 years ago. Didn't okay. do much with it, right? Uh -huh. uh, life happened. Uh, but yeah. I finally got my kids out of the house. So my <laughs> wife gave me the okay to get a motorcycle, so I picked it up in June. So Good. from June to now, so three months. And ah. uh, just been doing parking lot practice and just keeping it slow and staying local. So the next question that I normally ask is how long you've been practicing. I guess the answer is three months. Three months. Beautiful. One to ten, ten being the best, how would you rate your slow speed? <laughs> Solid <skills>? zero. <laughs> Solid zero? Okay. Solid zero. <laughs> and why are you here today? Uh, I want to gain uh, confidence so I'm not intimidated by the bike so I can be the boss. And Beautiful. enjoy the ride. Beautiful. So. Pleasure to meet you, man. What's your name? Eric. Larry Schiffman. Larry, where are you from? From Danbury, Connecticut. Larry, congratulations on recently retiring. Thank you. It's for joining joy. the ranks of retirement. It's a joy. It's ah. A joy. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? Well, about 35 years. It's my fifth bike. Ah, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? About two years now, and I'm here because I still suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, good. Did I ask you where you're from? Uh, Danbury, yeah, totally. Yeah, okay, good. And you're here to be... Actually, you already answered that, too. That's it. All right, pleasure to see you. Oh, no, what kind of motorcycle are you riding? Indian. Scout. Indian. Scout. See how he, he's right all presumptive? It. Indian. Like, <laughs> Indian Scout. Just so you guys know, we got a lot of Indians here today. Pleasure to meet you, man. You too. You too. Thanks, man. All right, what's your name, Tony? <laughs> Anthony from Manalapan. I'm riding a, two, a 2021 Road King. Okay, good. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? About six, seven years. How long have you been practicing slow speed? Uh, since I started watching your videos, um, about six, seven months ago. And okay. I try to practice uh, every time I'm on the road. Beautiful. That's a great answer. Um, and on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, how would you reach your slow speed? Scale? I say I'm now up to a two or a three because of you. Good. That's what I like to hear. And you're here today because? Uh, I want to ride safe and I want to be prepared for that uh oh moment. That's it, brother. You got it, brother. Good to see you again, man. Same here. What's your name? Michael Vogt. Michael Vogt, where are you from? Whippany, New Jersey. Whippany. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? This is my third season. What kind of motorcycle do you have? Street Glide, 2011. Nice. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Three years. Oh, beautiful. And on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Four. Four. -ish. Okay. Okay, good, good. And why are you here today? To get better. That's what I like to hear, man. Absolutely. Pleasure to meet you. You do, Robert. All right, good, man. What's your name, Dave? David. David. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Adamon, New Jersey. Okay, and this is your brother's bike, right? Yeah, this is the one that he has. In, uh, Beautiful bike. Yeah. Beautiful bike. Yes, okay, um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? About 20 years. A scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Right now, I'm about all 4. Okay, and how long have you been practicing slow speed? Two years since your videos. Beautiful. Why are you here today? Because I want to be the boss of my motorcycle. Awesome. Now, I'm not done with you. <laughs> okay. Now, your brother's motorcycle is beautiful. Right. How would you, how would you rate your brother's slow speed skills? <laughs> About you, the same three and a half. Three, three and a half? Yeah. Okay. So, so you guys know, I left his bike here on purpose because it's beautiful. And he was here last time. He didn't have his motorcycle last time, right? No, no. He, had, yeah, he came to some Now people. he showed up on it and said, he basically told me to my face, he doesn't want to practice because he doesn't want to drop this bike. I should have ejected him from this parking lot as soon as he said that because practicing is going to increase the odds that he won't drop it. But even if he does, he'll be better for it out here versus doing it out there. All right. Plus his handlebars. He's all, we're going to talk about it. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> pleasure to see you again, man. You too, Robert. Nice. What's seat. your brother's name again? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah, I'm not Carlos. done. No, nah, we ain't talking to Carlos, man. I'm going to talk to him off camera. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? John Sakura. John Sakura. And before I say anything else to John, 
This shirt is just fabulous <laughs> that he's wearing. Just fabulous. Thank you for your support, man. Thank you for complimenting, complimenting me on my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are you from? I'm from Kearney, New Jersey. Okay. And um, what would you ride today? I rode a 2014 Indian Chieftain. Nice. And how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Well, I've had my license for about 24 years, uh -huh. but on and off. Okay. And how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Counting today, about a month. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. And... If you had to rate yourself 1 to 10, slow speed, what would you give yourself? I would probably give myself a 1. Hopefully okay. by the end of today, I'll be around a 3. Exactly. And I'm you're here today because? Well, number one, I don't want my motorcycle riding me. I want to ride it. That's right. And I want to be the boss of my motorcycle. Outstanding, <laughs> man. Outstanding answers. If I ever go on Family Feud, you're on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding answers. All right. So I already know you mean business. You're wearing suspenders. You are ready to go. What's your name? It's a Billy Gut, right? Yeah, man. What's your name? Michael. Michael Mike. Rajansky. Where are you from, Mike? Bridgewater, New Jersey. Ah. How long have you been riding the motorcycle, Mike? 15 months. What kind of motorcycle did you ride today? It's the 2018 Kawasaki Vulcan 900. Nice, nice. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Tried on and off. Uh -huh. I've tried to do it consistently. Uh -huh. So hopefully I'll increase my skills here. Absolutely. That's the goal. And um, that's all I have for you, Mike. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you, man. All right, thank Pleasure you. to meet you, brother. What's your name? Uh, it's Wojtek Zadolka. Wojtek, where are you from? I'm from Stratford, Connecticut. What kind of motorcycle do you ride today? I'm riding 2020 Lowrider S. Nice. It looks like a like a hot rod motorcycle, man. It really does. It's it's a fun bike. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? About five years. How long have you been practicing slow speed? Just this season. Okay. So I got a road glide, mm -hmm. and then I realized I can't. <laughs> <laughs> things got real. Things got, things got real really quick. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're right. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you reach your slow speed skills? Solid two. Okay, and why are you here today? I uh, just need to get more confidence and just practice that. And That's it, brother. Better. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Man. All right, what's your name? My name's Ron. Ron, where are you from? I'm from East Orange. All right, Ron. What kind of motorcycle did you ride here today? Uh, 21 Moto Guzzi V7. Yeah, we got. this is only the second Moto Guzzi I've seen in one of my practice sessions. Um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? I've had my license since uh, about 25 years. Mm -hmm. Sold my first bike because I had my daughter trying to be responsible. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm just jumping back on it within the beginning of this summer, so. Okay. New. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Not very much, so. Okay. One to ten, ten being the best, what would you rate yourself slow speed? One. And why are you here today? One, to improve on it. There we go. All right, All right man. What's your name? Lance August. Lance, where are you from? Uh, Middletown. Actually, I live in Fork River now. What kind of motorcycle did you ride here today? 2011 Ultra Classic. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Counting today? Yeah. Three days. Wow. Normally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about 40 years. Okay, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Well, two days, three days. Okay, good, good. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Maybe 8. Okay, 8, eight is excellent. And uh, why are you here today? To practice it and learn it. Good. All right, brother. Pleasure to meet you. All right, what's your name? Rob McLaughlin. Where are you from, Rob? Bayville, New Jersey. What would you ride here today? I rode a 14 Ultra. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? Since I'm a kid, 50 years. <laughs> yeah, how long have you been practicing slow speed? Um, probably about three years since watching you and, and, and Jerry Palladino on YouTube and stuff. Okay. You know, realizing the, the whole technique to it. That's right. Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, what would you give yourself? I would say about a 4 or 5. Okay, 4 or 5 is good. And you're here today because? Uh, to, to get better. There we go. Thank you. All right, brother. Hi, right, what's your name? Jose Vergara. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too, brother. Where are you from? Belleville, New Jersey. What'd you ride here today? Uh, 2015 Street Glide Special. The Amber it's Whiskey. beautiful. It's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? On and off, eight years. I was really young and dumb back in 92, mm -hmm. doing stupid things, yep, so I yep. stopped, got a family. Now I got a bike, thanks to my wife, Tara. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> thanks, Tara. <laughs> and I uh, stumbled onto your videos, uh -huh. and I had a beer. Beautiful. I had a beer. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Honestly... Not that much. Maybe about a month or so. Okay, and okay. But you're here today. That's all I care about. It's giving me a hard time, but that's why I'm here. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you reach your slow speed skills? Slow speed skill? Uh, IOU. <laughs> <laughs> it's an IOU. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, man. Likewise. Thank uh, you. What's your name? Will. Will, where are you from? Um, Northeast Connecticut. But, but no one knows about so. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you ride here today? Uh... Honda VTX uh, 1800. I knew it. I had a VTX 1800. Um, what kind of motor? Uh, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, I 
just bought this motorcycle and started riding again this year, mm -hmm. but about 10 years ago, I rode for about five years. So. Okay, how, and how, 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 how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Since I bought this bike and watched your videos. So. Awesome. So and on about four months. Four months, okay, good. Scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, what would you give yourself? I think a four. I think okay. a four is pretty solid. Okay, okay. The, and uh, why are you here today? Uh, to get better on riding my motorcycle and to hear you yell at me head nuts. <laughs> All right, man. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. All right, guys. One through nine in the bonus. Follow the leader. Slow race. Let's do it. All right. Does anybody have a problem being on YouTube? I always have to ask. All right, guys. Welcome to practice session number... Ah, you guys didn't check your notifications. 53 came out yesterday. 54, guys, 54. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God is good all the time, right? Got great weather. Everybody got here safely. Is anybody here nervous? Okay, I'm going to... Listen, I, well, I, should, I should always lead this by saying we're going to take our egos and a little bit of our testosterone and throw it in the woods, all right? We're here to learn. We're here to get better. All right, you guys know Preloader Nation, this is a positive environment. All right, there's no judgment, there's no arrogance, there's no name calling, there's no laughing. If you drop your motorcycle, it is par for the course, right? But the goal is to not get hurt if that does happen, right? If you feel your motorcycle getting ready to fall, what's the answer? Right? That's the answer, right? So that's the dance. The bike's going down, that's going to pick you up. Bike's going down, that's going to pick you up. Who here knows what to do if you're driving your car, rear-wheel drive, and you're going around a curve, and then the back of the car starts to slide out? We know you're going to counter. Hit some gas. Hit the gas. What does that do? Straightens it out. So that's what, the same concept with your motorcycle. If you ever feel it like that, open up the clutch. Now, we already know just opening up the clutch is not the answer. Preload. We know we're already keeping it loaded, right? We know that concept. Preload and keep it loaded. All right, so let's do this. Let's start with this. Now, I'm going to be testing you. You've been, you've been answering a lot of questions, so I'm going to come to you, all right, in the interest of saving time. <laughs> okay, five steps, guys, that I want you to do all day today. Now, remember, we here, I asked all you guys why you're here today. Some people said I'm here to be the boss. Some people said I want to raise my confidence. I want to feel safe, blah, blah, blah. That's all synonymous with being the boss of the motorcycle, right? Um, so in order to be the boss of your motorcycle, you have to have muscle memory. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, I'm going to be looking at, tell me your name again. Lance. Lance. I don't put anybody on the spot here. I ask you guys for your numbers. That number's for you, right? Like, um, Will. Will. Will said, I think I'm about a four. He might find out, nah, maybe I'm not a four. It's very humbling out here, right? So don't worry about that. That number's for you. So at the end of the day, when I ask you, there's no pressure for it to go up. Sometimes it stays the same. Sometimes it goes down. Sometimes you have a good day. That happened to me when I was in motorcycle school. We had to drive out to Brooklyn from the Bronx. It was along at the, ed, at the end of Brooklyn. And let me tell you something. On that drive back, it was five of us in that car. You can look at the face and see who had a good day. Right? So don't worry about it if you don't have a good day. That's true in everything that you do. There's baseball players that are great. Michael Jordan had bad days. Right? Just keep that in mind. Don't beat yourselves up out here. All right? And at the end of the day, if the only thing you gained is a better understanding of what to do, that's still progress. All right? Okay. With all that being said, the first five steps I want you guys to do all day today before you move your motorcycle. Quite frankly, I'd like you to do it when you leave here too. I want it to become part of your muscle memory as riding a motorcycle. And keep in mind, I'm giving you five steps, but once you gain that muscle memory, it's not steps anymore. I only put steps on it because when you're unsure of how to do something, your brain starts to race and then you start feeling panicked because you think you're forgetting something. This is a concept I use studying, studying for promotional exams. It's a lot of information. How do you condense that? You gotta find ways to condense it, acronyms, steps, whatever. If I give you steps and you do them and you do them, now they just become muscle memory and they all happen together, all right? Also keep in mind that if you've been riding, I'm sorry, tell me your name. Lance. Lance. Again, I don't put people on the spot. Lance told me he's been riding 40 years. I always, I always ask you guys that because I can give a crap how long you've been riding. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? He said, today? <laughs> Two days. And he said he's an eight. So <laughs> I'm not saying he's not. We'll see because there's a lot of sandbagging going on out here too. I noticed that. People will give me a really low number and, and they're great, right? I'm an eight. So I'm definitely looking to see that, man. 
And I don't ever go any higher than that. I'm not worried about any of it, man. I got faith. There you go, man. Faith. You're at the right place for some faith. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So step number one. What's always step number one? The first gear. That's right. Make sure your motorcycle's in first gear. Some of you guys with Indians, you, actually, you see a nice big number to tell you. But us peasants on Harley Davidson's, we have to actually do this. But sometimes, even on an Indian, you might not trust the electronics, so you just want to, right? And I see people do that all the time. I can always tell people that practice. They stop at a light, and they do that. They know they're in first gear. Muscle memory. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. It's important. And keep in mind that even if we're doing, even if we're doing something out here, and it's not necessary to do it, do it anyway, right? We're in a learning environment today. We're in a controlled environment. Step number two. Preload. Keep it low. Step number two. Right. That's right. He was confident, too, when he said that, right? <laughs> Cover the rear brake. Now, I can't be more clear about this. Cover the rear brake means put your foot on the brake. Rest it on the brake. Now, most of our motorcycles, you can rest your foot on the brake and it's not going to apply the brake. All right? You need to know if that's the case with your motorcycle. Okay? Because you don't want to be applying it unnecessarily. But for the most part, in my opinion, you're going to be on it most of the day. Step number three. <laughs> Preload and keep it loaded. I'm talking about the throttle. Preload has nothing to do with your brake. Preload the throttle and keep it there. So a couple of guys pulled up and I heard your exhaust before I saw your motorcycle. That's beautiful. One of you was right next to me and then I heard you, right? I want you guys to concentrate today, concentrate today on listening to the sound of your throttle. Keep it elevated, not high, elevated, and try to keep it steady. So if we had your motorcycle on an EKG machine, it should, look, it should almost look like a flat line. That's what we want, mm, not idle, Right? And the good thing about the Harley, they're already shaking, but it's really going to shake if your throttle is getting really low. Right? Some of the Indians too. So listen, but you can also feel. This is what I mean when I say we have to be one with our motorcycles. You should be able to feel that something's not right and then, bam, know what to do to correct it. All right? So preload, yeah, that's great. And keep it loaded is so important. But this happens all the time. When we get to trust and believe, that's where it happens the most. Where as soon as I say, okay, pick up that foot your throttle goes down because now you stop concentrating on it. Listen, and the other thing is the fact that this is being recorded is huge for you guys. So when you go home, I want you to, this video is going to be a while. It's going to take, it's going to be a while. But when you watch this video and watch yourself, pay attention to what you're doing because it's one thing for me to be standing right next to you saying something to you. Sometimes we're concentrating so much. You're not even, you ever watch Charlie Brown and the adults go, wah, 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 wah. That's what you hear coming out of my mouth, right? You go back and you watch it. It's a whole different perspective, right? So keep that in mind. Keep it loaded. If I say preload, preload, that doesn't mean go faster. I'm just letting you know your RPMs are too low, right? And if you get in the habit of keeping your RPMs steady, everything else on your motorcycle is going to be steady, right? And when you start making turns and stuff where it really matters, you don't have to worry about it. Guys, when I'm out here practicing, I don't concentrate on my head and eyes. I don't concentrate on my lean. I don't concentrate on my handlebar. But I concentrate on how that motorcycle sounds. Because that's what's going to make me fall. Nothing else. If you don't turn your head and your eyes, you're not going to fall. If you're keeping it loaded, right? And also keep this in mind. If you're keeping it loaded, your engine can sound great. But if you've got your clutch pulled in, it's pointless. So you have to keep power to the rear wheel. That's step number three. Preload and keep it loaded. Step number four. Step number four. Yes. Step number four today. You're going to slowly release your clutch into the friction zone. Slowly. Remember. We're slow dancing out here today, right? Everything's graceful. I think practice session number 40, no, I'm sorry, practice session number 51. I think I started that practice session with me warming up and I had slow music playing because that's the grace that I want to see out here, all right? Grace, one with your motorcycle. Keep that in mind, all right? For those of you that said you're nervous, there's no test today, there's no quiz, and you don't have to do anything out here you don't want to do. None of this stuff is set up to make you ride like me or ride for a competition. None of that. This is just to raise your confidence and let you see what you need to practice on, right? So if you leave here and you're pissed off that you can't make right turns and left turns from a stop, don't be pissed about it. Just practice it, right? Practice it and you'll be fine, okay? Not a competition, so really nothing to be nervous about. So if we do one through three and you say, you know what, Rob, I'm not, I don't want to do the rest because people do this. They, while we go on, they just stay back and they practice that. That's an option for you too. Now, you might go, screw that, Rob. I paid $250. I don't care if I die out here today. I'm following you. That's fine, too. Also, if you, if you say to yourself, I'm not going to do something, I might see something in you that you didn't see. And I might say, here, just try this, because that's happened before. If you don't have faith in you, I do. 
right? Or some, I'm a realist too. I might go, yeah, yeah, you know, because I have people that struggle all day and then the maze comes up and they go, I'm going into the maze. Go ahead. You know, because sometimes that's all you need to do is feel it. Step number five. A lot of pressure. I know, man. A lot of pressure. Uh, as soon as the bike starts to move, pick your foot up. Really yes. So we got all the little steps. That's what I want to see you doing all day. And I already know I'm going to see somebody waiting to exercise with both their feet down like this. No. Cover the rear brake. You should have one foot on the ground. All right. Now, he's been riding 40 years. So I always say this. There's a million ways to do everything. Right? I'm not going to tell you this is the only way to do anything. So if something that you're doing works, do it. However, if you're doing something that works, and I say I can probably talk to you about a different way to do it, I'm still going to talk to you about it because most motorcycle riders think what they do work. That's why they don't practice, right? They go, oh, I don't need to practice. I'm fine. But we practice for uh-oh. So I hate to keep bringing them up, but my friend that rear-ended me as a result of not practicing. So when the crap hit the fan, that's what we practice for, uh-oh, what did he do? Just squeeze. He's on the rear brake, so he slides right into me. He didn't have the presence of mind to swerve, nothing, right? All of that comes with practice. You can't practice once a month. You know, I used to, so I'm the president of my HOA. And when I, when I became the president, I asked them, how often do you guys inspect this facility, the, the subdivision? They said, once a month. What do you really know about anything if you only check it once a month? Like a fire extinguisher, you can check it once a month, right? So same thing here. Every time you ride your motorcycle, that doesn't mean, practice doesn't mean you got to come out and put cones out. But every time you go for a ride, if you're parked like this and you got to make a right turn, exercise number four. It's a state of mind practice. That's all it is. Say to yourself, all right, make sure I'm in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload and keep it loaded. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And then do it. And you're going to notice that when you used to pull out, you were all the way over the double yellow line. And then now, boom, you're right here. All right. And that's just practice, practice, practice. All right. Any questions? Okay. Everybody understands that between 1 and 10 miles per hour, that's where most motorcycle riders are extremely uncomfortable, right? So this is friction zone valley. We're living in the friction zone today. We're not doing any momentum. We're not duck walking. That's one foot or two. So even if I ask you to move your bike from here to here, you're going to cover, you're going to make sure it's in first gear. You're going to cover the rear brake, preload and keep it loaded. Go through the motions, guys. Go through the motions. Because again, after a while, it's nothing. Slowly release the clutch. And as soon as it starts to move, you're going to pick up your foot. Now, the first exercise we're going to do is going to be with these high cones. And yes, you guys are costing me money all the time because you're obsessed with my cones. Either you're staring at them or you're hugging them. And this exercise, not the first one, we're going to do starts and stops there, but the single serpentine, exercise number five, constantly hugging my cones, saddlebags going right over them. So I had to spend some money to get higher cones, right? So, so now if you hug it, you're going to, your saddlebag or your bike is going to hit it. All right? That's the only purpose of that. That's why I bought those big cones for exercise number four, too. Same thing. People leaning the motorcycle. All right. So we need to be comfortable between one and 10 miles per hour. That's the goal. So we're going to do the warm up, short starts and stops. All right. The key to that exercise are these five steps I just gave you. The key to being successful in that. Slowly release the clutch. If you start out like this, then you didn't slowly release the clutch. Right. Everybody, everybody should know where their clutch, where the sweet spot is. Keeping it loaded, slowly release it. As soon as it starts to move, you pick up your foot, go to the next cone, rear brake, rear brake, boop. This is how you should stop. You shouldn't be stopping like this. Every now and then that could happen. We're all in two wheels, right? This is not a competition. It's going to happen. So don't get mad if you don't stop you know, perfectly. And sometimes when you stop, you can pull a clutch in like most people do and just coast. Some people go into neutral. Please don't do that. Um, because, again, if you're in neutral while you're rolling, your motorcycle is like the coin rolling across the table, right? It's going to eventually waver, and then it's going to fall. That's why when we slow down, we don't feel comfortable. And that's what, that's what most motorcycle riders deal with, that feeling of, di of discomfort. And that's associated with falling. And falling is, asso is associated with not being in control. Once you are in control and you feel like you're in control, that's when your confidence starts to go up. We know the three C's in preload nation. Confidence, because everything follows with confidence. Control, consistency, right? You got those three things, you're going to be good. All right. Now, if you can come to a smooth stop, clutch pulled in, balance works out, great. But when that doesn't happen, when you start feeling, uh-oh, go back into the friction zone. You're already you're going back to the friction zone. You should hear your engine. Let's say 90% rear brake, 10% throttle. You don't need a lot. Keep that in mind. We don't need a lot of power to keep the motorcycle up, okay? 
nice and easy, friction zone, come to a stop. Any questions? Stop at this cone. Good, next cone. You're already much better than you were before in that. Oh yeah, the practice shows. Nice, one more. All right, you can park over here. Good job. Nice, next cone. All right, you're stopping early. Put your wheel right at the cone. There we go, one more. Very nice, you can pull. All right, Rob. Good, next cone. All right, nice and easy with that rear brake. Next cone. All right, take off a little slower, Rob. A little bit slower. There we go. Good job, you can park. That's what I'm looking for, right there. That's exactly what I'm looking for, right there. All right, right here. Tell me your name again. Lance, Lance I knew it. Next cone. All right, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Excellent. Good ball. All right, you ready? Reload. Nice and easy. Head and eye straight ahead. You passed the cone. All right, you ran a stop sign. <laughs> and you're on that front brake. You owe me 10 push-ups. Okay, right here. Nice and easy. Rear brake, good. One more. All right, you can park. Woo! Good. Right here. Head and eye, straight ahead. Give me some more preload. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. You hear your engine going glug, 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 glug. It's too low. Preload. See, it's going down. One more. Preloading. Keep it loaded. All right, you can park. Yeah, right before, he's, right before it's time for him to move, then it's RPM to go down when it's most important. That's why we want to practice it here. Get it here. Good. Right here. Beautiful. One more. Stop right here. Good job, you can park. All right, as soon as you start to move, that foot goes up, okay? All right, right here. Nice, take off a little slower. Good, keep it loaded. Good, one more. One more. All right, good job, you can park. So you, you already looking at my cones. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Told you. All right. <laughs> All right, good, take off slower. Keep it loaded. Good, good. Very nice. One more. That's excellent, Will. You can park. Excellent. As soon as I told him to slow down. Excellent. All right. Got my work cut out for me today. Good. 
Good, one more. Good job, you can pull. See, he throttled, coasted, and he didn't need the um, RPM, so he didn't use them. Moto Guzzi. Head and eye, straight ahead, Ron. Right here. Good, good, good. Nice, perfect. One more, very nice. Excellent, you can park. Excellent job. All right, Joe. All right, good, right here. All right, take off a little slower, Joe. Nice and easy, preload. Keep it loaded, good. Slower yet. One more time. All right, good job, you can park. Oh, you ran a stop sign. Come right here, come right here. All right, good. Yep. All right, take off slower. Good, 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 good. One more. Head and eye, straight ahead. All right, you're good. Good job. Got those stretch bags. I'm going to ask him if he wants to take them off. Probably makes sense to. All right, head and eye, straight ahead. Right here. Good. Good, one more, excellent. Outstanding, you can park. And last but not least. All right, you heard that? Yes, yes. Preloading, keep it loaded, keep those RPMs up. Come right here. Head and eye, straight ahead, look at my camera. Come right here. All right, too much speed, too much speed. Nice and easy. Stop right here. Stop right here. Okay. Preload the throttle. Keep it there. And slowly release the clutch. Keep it loaded. Stop, stop. All right, you can park. All right, guys, we got some stuff to talk about in the warm-up. All right. Guys, that exercise is so telling, right? It tells me a lot. It tells me how comfortable you are on your motorcycle at slow speeds. So if I told you, slow down, you're starting off too fast, it's because, remember, when we don't feel comfortable, I already told you, 1 to 10 miles per hour, how do we deal with that as motorcycle riders? Well, it's a number of things we do. One, duck walk. I've already eliminated that. We're not doing that. Some of you guys did it with one foot. We're going to talk about it. Two, we speed up because speed, once we introduce speed, not a motorcycle takes over. But we want to be the boss. So remember, a couple of you, uh, where's he at? Right here. What's your name? Wojtek. Wojtek. It wasn't Wojtek. Right here. What's your name? Michael. Michael. So Mike on the Indian, as soon as Mike went to go, his throttle, I, remember, listen to that throttle, guys. Trust me, I know I'm going to have to keep saying it. The reason why your bike felt so like this is because it's the coin wavering. You have no power to the rear wheel. So that's why we preload the throttle and keep it there. When you slowly release the clutch, you have the power you need. Use the rear brake at the same time. Drag it, right? So some of you, if I see you doing this, right? It's not necessary. Just keep your foot on and drag it. And that, watch how smooth that bike's gonna feel, right? Secondly, we know, anybody here a good dancer? No? <laughs> Okay, salsa counts. Okay, being a good dancer is just being coordinated, right? You do the wrong step at the wrong time, it's not going to look good. Huh? Same way when you're stop. Oh, he's a nine at dancing. He's, he's, a <laughs> <laughs> he's an eight at slow speed, nine at dancing. Okay, good. Oh man, I'm, 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 I'm so curious. 
All right, so stopping your motorcycle also is not a surprise because you're stopping it. So some of you guys are stopping and you're putting your foot down while the bike is still moving and then your foot ends up behind you. Remember, you know when it's gonna stop. So just like when you're stopping your car, you could bring your car to a smooth stop. Same thing with your motorcycle. But what's going on also is a lot of times when people are stopping, again, the heart rate goes up. Oh crap, now it's on me. So they wanna put their foot down as soon as possible. And that's why some of you guys are braking like this. Listen, your front suspension while you're using your rear brake shouldn't compress this much. That means you're braking too hard. Everything nice and smooth. Some of you guys, again, I can't remember your names, but I'm listening to your throttle so I can hear that when you're coming to a stop, you raise your throttle to get you. Because again, some of you guys came to a stop, you just pulled the clutch in, came to a smooth stop. Like I said, sometimes it works out. But if you ever feel, uh-oh, go back into the friction zone, that's gonna right your motorcycle, right? So taking off is the same way. The reason I'm telling you guys you're taking off too fast is because when we get to exercise number four, that's not gonna work, right? So you need to be comfortable. First gear, cover the rear brake, reload. Where's he at? Who, uh, all right, without singling him out. Every time he slowly released the clutch into the friction zone, his throttle went down. And immediately he felt this. Listen to that throttle. It's gonna fluctuate, but try your best to keep it where it is. That's why, forget about, how do I remember where to keep my hand? Forget about your hand, just listen. Listen to it. So as soon as you start to move, put up. I'm on the rear brake already. Stop. Right? We're not doing landing gear. There's no reason for your foot to be out like this before you stop. Um, and even if you're moving from one spot to the other, don't keep, don't keep your foot here like this. Lazy, laziness and complacency. Complacency. There's another C. Motorcycle riders have that a lot. That's why we stop at lights and put the motorcycle in neutral. That's laziness and complacency, right? I don't wanna sit here and hold this clutch in. Everything will be all right, so I'm just gonna sit here. Hopefully nobody rear ends me. When I'm doing exercise number four on follow the leader, every time I make that turn, I come around, I stop right there because my camera is still recording everybody else. And when we do it on the curb, I stay there in first gear because it's already happened where somebody makes a turn and they get stuck in the turn. Now they're coming right at me. If I'm in neutral, I'm hit. All I gotta do, and I'm gone, all right? Again, we play how we practice. So if you do something like um, not concentrate on your throttle being low, you're going to do the same thing out there in the real world, and that's where stuff happens. And usually it's not a big deal, but we want to avoid that, okay? Any questions so far? All right, good. Keep in mind, guys, that exercise, what we're about to do, and exercise number three is relevant in everything you do on your motorcycle every time you get on it, period, because you have to start and you have to stop and you have to slow down, there's no way around it. Okay, next exercise. Exercise number one, starts and stops, but now we're not doing them short. I make those short on purpose because again, I want you to be comfortable going slow. This time, you guys are gonna go down there, line up, I'm gonna be down here, ride toward me. Go up to second gear. We're not doing emergency braking, you don't have to be flying, but we'll, I just want you to get up to second gear so you can downshift. If you're going about 25 miles per hour, what brake are you using? Anybody using the rear brake 25 miles per hour? I use them both, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't touch my rear brake unless I'm going under 10 for a number of reasons. A, my brakes are linked. B, the, brake, the, the rear brake is pointless compared to this front brake. Pointless. All of your stopping power is in your front brake. Your rear brake gives you control of your motorcycle, right? Control. So I'm not going to tell you not to use both, right? But right before you're going to stop, Get off this front brake, rear brake only. I forgot to tell you guys, you touch this front brake today and pull it, that's a 10 push-up penalty outside of this exercise, all right? 10 push-up penalty, you said you've been watching for a while, right? Yeah. So you already knew, but I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it slide anyway. Nice, keep it loaded. <laughs> all right, come to a smooth stop, right? Remember, now some people that are trying to avoid push-ups, rear brake, 20 miles per hour, all the way down. You know, no, locking up the rear wheel. Nice and easy. Downshift, front brake, right before you're gonna stop, off the front brake, rear brake only, left foot down. Now after you put your left foot down, you can put your right foot down too. I have to emphasize that the whole left foot down only thing is a motor officer thing, right? And so if it's this many of us riding, when we're all stopped, man, it looks good if we all have one foot down, we look uniform. That's what that's about, right? But, you know, uh, but initially when you're stopping, you should be on your rear brake only. Any questions? 
Then when it's time for you to take off, same thing, first five steps. Make sure you're in first gear, cover the rear brake, preload and keep it loaded. Slowly release the clutch as soon as it starts to move. Pick up your foot. As soon as it starts to move, some of you guys are, right? Right? Listen, I don't want anybody getting hurt. Most of us have saddlebags. That's the only way you're gonna get hurt. I meant to say that earlier. If the motorcycle is gonna fall today, don't put your foot down, right? If you forget to do this, because that's always gonna work. Matter of fact, if you watch practice session number 53 that I just put out, finesse the challenger with his cha with his uh, Indian challenger in the snowman, his bike was going down. It was all the way down. He opened up the clutch and tripped. I mean, oh my God. Trust that was and just, believe. He had two trust and believe moments, but I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, he wasn't like that when we first started practicing. But it's starting to occur to him. Does everybody, uh, I'll wait till we get to the exercise before I ask you if you really trust and believe. All right, any questions? Line up. All right, exercise number one. All right, good job. Park over here facing this way. Very good. Go off of the front brake. Beautiful, veteran, baby. Park over here. Here comes Rob. Nice. Go off the front brake. Outstanding, Rob. Lance. You're still on the front brake. That's 10 push ups. Go over here. <laughs> he stopped on the front brake the whole time. He was just looking at me like, hey, what's up? Woo! Easy. So remember, at that speed initially, you could have been on that front brake. It would have made that stop a lot easier and then transition from the front to the rear. All right, you can park. Nice takeoff. I'm all, even from here. I'm looking at the takeoff. All right. You could have used the front and then transition, but yeah. all right. Take a park over here. Preload. Good. That time his preload was good. It stayed good. Excellent. You can park. Preload, preload. Good. I'm always listening to that preload. Nice. Good park. Good. Very nice. Park over here. Reload, reload. You're on that front brake the whole time. <laughs> 10 push ups. You can park over here. Because he's coming in hot. So, yeah, if you're coming in hot, you want the front brake. But right at the end, transition. I don't want you to stop like this. Nice job. Good park. Keep preload, preload, preload. See? It's almost shut off. Got to preload. Step number four. Preload. No, I'm sorry. Step number three. Preload and keep it loaded. Ten push-ups. You're still on the front brake. <laughs> All right. Pull over here, man. Preload. Good. We got 30 push-ups on the books now. 30 push-ups on the books. Downshift, front brake, good, good. All right, good job. All right, good, he took the bags off. He's got motorcycle drop guards, but his bags are extended so much, they're still gonna hit the ground. They're not just extended from Harley, they're overly extended. Very nice, 
Park over here, preload, good. There we go. Good. Park over here, preload, preload, good. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so some of you guys, well, we, are, we got 30 push-ups on the books already. And the funny part is when you guys stopped, it's so funny for me to have that whole spiel beforehand and then somebody stops front brake the whole time and then they're looking at me like, what's up? <laughs> right? All right, listen, Rome wasn't built in a day. In 40 years, that's a long time riding, right? Okay, um, and some of you guys were stopping and at the end of the stop, you're like this. Remember, guys, today is not about speed. Everything's slow and controlled. And some of you guys were rear brake the whole time, right? And you wonder why, why isn't this thing stopping? You're stopping pause with that front brake. I'm just trying to get you accustomed to transitioning from front to rear, right before you're going to stop. It doesn't have to be way, way before it, but that's totally up to you. you. Listen, being the boss of your motorcycle means knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And based on what you see and feel, you're going to know what to do with these and what to do with this foot. And that's it. Actually, not, I was about to say not this, but that's not true because sometimes, like in this exercise, yeah, you're going to use the front brake first. I want this thing to stop. Get me to a speed, like my friend that, that rear-ended me, he hit me because he's on the rear brake. He doesn't have enough stopping power. But once he got down to a speed where he could swerve, it didn't even cross his mind because no muscle memory. Just hope for the best, right? All right. But anyway, good job. Next exercise, number two. The slow ride. So we're going to do basically what we did with the short starts and stops. But instead of stopping, I'm going to walk aside you and you're going to stay at my walking pace. Keep it loaded. Listen to your throttle. Or if you want, you could go in and out of the friction zone. Throttle, pull the clutch in, let it coast a little bit. As soon as you start feeling uh-oh, open up the clutch because it's always going to right you. But as long as you, that's, you know, if you're manipulating the clutch, you don't, have, you don't even have to touch the rear brake. Or keep it loaded. Open the clutch up, and once you, once you find a spot that you feel comfortable at, keep it there and just drag the rear brake. We're not going to do it for a long distance, so don't worry about anything. All right? Anybody here worried about... It's 10.04. Anybody here worrying about burning out their clutch? Wearing out their rear brake pads? Rear brake pads are, on most motorcycle riders are pristine, brand new, because they never use the rear brake. But they're learning, right? Preloaders know this. And every time somebody tells me, which just happened yesterday, I saw a message where a guy said he's practicing, he's riding, and his friend sees him doing the slow ride up to a light. And his friend tells him, you're going to burn out your clutch. You can always tell when people don't know what they're talking about. And they want to spread that misinformation, right? He kindly told him, I'll do it my way. No, no, I'm sorry. First, he told him about that channel because that's what we got to do first, right? We don't laugh at people. We don't judge them. We, we try to help them. Some people's egos are too thick, it's not going to get through. But when he sees him riding, keep this in mind, guys. When you guys pull up to a biking event, you pull up to Harley Davidson, I know when I pull up, all I got to do is make a U-turn. You would think I was out there doing wheelies. Everything stops, <laughs> right? Something's wrong there, right? So the numbers, when I say 98% of motorcycle riders are not proficient at this, that's probably low. It's probably higher than that if you talk, think about all of the motorcycles on the globe. Right, so kudos to you guys for being here. Sorry if I got off topic. Anyway, any questions on the slow ride? Okay, you guys are going to line up the same place you were, and then I'm going to have you ride to here. All I'm, all I'm doing by doing, having you do that, not the slow ride, just ride to me, same way you did in exercise number one. I'm giving you a chance to do that again. Stop, and then when you get right here, we're going to do a slow ride. And then once you finish, pull, park right here. Any questions? Let's do it. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice and easy. All right, good job. You can park over there. You look badass on this bike, man. Thank you. All right, you ready? All right, let's do it. Reload, listen to that throttle. Good, good, good. Head and eye, straight ahead. Slow down, slow down. All right, good job. Talk over here.
Man, looking good. You ready? All right, let's do it. There we go. See his head in his eyes. It's straight ahead. Slow down, slow down. Good, 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 good. Keep it loaded. All right, you can walk. You see his handlebars were straight. As soon as I said slow down, slow down, you saw that. All right, Rob, show him how it's done. Excellent. Good ball. See his throttle? Steady. What did I say? A steady throttle is a steady motorcycle. All right, Lance, show him how it's done. Excellent. Good ball. Now, Lance is definitely one of the guys that he can, he'll definitely benefit from some high handlebars. All right, ready? Nice and easy. Good, 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 good. Slow down, slow down. All right, good job, good park. Not bad at all. I don't want to see anybody's handlebars going like straight the whole time. That means they're going too, too fast. All right, ready? Let's do it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded. Good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. Good job. You can park. Now that's what I'm talking about. Nice. You ready? Let's do it. All right, good job. Now, when he was stopping, I don't know if you heard his throttle go up. That, that, he made sure when he was stopping, he would stop, and the motorcycle was true. Raise the RPMs. Excellent, Will. All right, ready? Let's do it. Good job. Now, if I see that good right away, I'm just going to stop him. No reason to do it longer than necessary. Nice, ready? Let's do it. Good job. Yeah, I gave my workout today. All right, ready? Let's do it. Very nice. Head and eye straight ahead. Looking really good today, man. Looking really good. All right, you can park. He's looking really good. Who's going to win in a race between us and them? We'll win, but they're, they're going to be in better shape. <laughs> nice. All right, you ready? We'll break that thing. <laughs> well, we use some break. All right, let's do it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down. Good job. Good park. Loving the helmet too, by the way. I forgot to tell you. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Good, slow down, slow down. Good, good, good. All right, good job. Winding down, winding down. The Moto Guzzi is last. Last in line, not last in any type of ranking. Nice. Now remember, I want you to keep your head in your eyes, straight ahead. All right? When you're stopping, don't look at me. Look straight ahead, okay? Sure. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Preload. Keep it loaded. Good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, come on, man. You're with me, right? <laughs> All right, ready? let's do it again. Nice and easy. Keep, cover that rear brake. There we go. Nice and easy. Good. Keep it low. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Much better. It's an, it's not a race. We will be doing the slow race later. And even then, going fast, 
It's not a good thing. That looked like exercise number three right there, so you're already ready. We're not even there yet. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, let's do it. This motor goosey looks good. Preload, preload, preload. Good job, you can park. All right. That motorcycle, it sounds like it's gonna shut off. All right, let's talk about that. All right, now you notice when I made that turn, right? I forgot to talk to you about this, guys. Do not come to a stop today with your handlebars turned. You do that, or the bike just wants to fall over, right? Always right your motorcycle. Turn the handlebars and then come to a stop. How do we assure that we do that? Well, when we talked about how do you come to a smooth stop, what do we say? Matter of fact, with Will. Will, I heard Will do it when he pulled up. He pulled up, his motorcycle started to, I saw his handlebars go like this. As soon as I saw his handlebars do that, I heard his throttle go up. He provided power to the rear wheel, just a little bit. That little bit of power, right at his motorcycle, smooth stop. So same thing when you're coming to a stop. If you want to right your motorcycle, don't try to do that with the clutch pulled in. It's not going to happen. Power to the rear wheel, rear brake, straighten out, smooth, easy stop. And Mike. Mike, when he first took off, did you see he thought we were racing and he was going to beat me because he had a motorcycle? Right? <laughs> so when he took off, his foot wasn't even on the rear brake. So you see what I mean when I say we got to follow these first five steps all the time. Take off with your foot. Because remember, we cover the rear brake because should we need it, we're already there. If your foot's not on it and you need it, you're going to smash at it. And listen, if we're going 50 miles per hour and we do something, like if you got your wife on the back of the bike or whoever on the back of the bike at 50 miles per hour and she shifts, it's not a big deal. But if you're going slow and she shifts, oh, you're going to feel that. So anything that you do that's herky-jerky at slow speeds, you're disturbing the motorcycle. It's not going to like it. It's going to show you. And if you don't know what to do, you're not going to like it. All right? All right. Now, I already told Ron. Ron, it looks like he did it already. Trust and believe. Does everybody here trust and believe? Now, practice session number 53. Um, I forgot his name. Oh, St Stephen. He gave the perfect answer to do you trust and believe that as long as you have su sufficient power going to the rear wheel, you're going to be okay. And his answer was, intellectually, I, I do. Right? <laughs> because we all can understand that. But when the motorcycle, when you feel, uh-oh, if you go to put your foot out, Right there, you're displaying you really don't trust it and you don't believe it. But what I'm here to tell you is that's why we practice. Now, everything else up to now, we've practiced. You could practice this all the time while you're riding. Trust and believe. I don't want you practicing this in traffic, right? But trust and believe comes in more than you think. Okay, so what this exercise entails is that current exercise, if I told you to slow down, it's because you were basically riding with your handlebar straight. If you could do that exercise with the handlebar straight, you're going too fast purpose of that exercise is I want you to feel like you have to do this and every time you feel like the motorcycle is going to fall I want you to open up the clutch that's the purpose of that while you're moving now we're going to kind of do the same thing but from a standstill but you have to trust and believe that this is the answer when you feel falling five steps to this exercise what's always step number one Ron first gear. First gear. make sure the motorcycle is in first gear especially in this exercise right step number two we're covering the rear brake this is a rectangle First gear, cover the rear brake, preload and keep it loaded. Now, we're not slowly releasing the clutch into the friction zone. We're going to put the clutch right before the friction zone, all right? I don't want you in the friction zone. I don't want to see you sitting there and the back of your motorcycle is moving down because you're opening the clutch, but you're holding the rear brake. I don't want you in the friction zone. Step number five, you're going to pick up your left foot. Now, don't just pick up your left foot and open up your hand. I need you to feel the motorcycle starting to fall. Because if you don't feel it, this is pointless. We have to reprogram your brain to associate falling with that, not putting a foot out, all right? Trust and believe that everything's gonna be all right. When you really trust and believe, anything else that you've been having issues with, it's gonna erase it because now that fear fact is gone. The biggest thing surrounding most motorcycle riders is fear. Either I don't wanna damage my motorcycle or I don't wanna hurt me, right? We're, a lot of us are idiots. It's, it's the bike first and then us. Right? <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, if you have engine guards and saddlebag guards, I told Jose to take his bags off because, he, correct me if I'm wrong, Jose, you don't have 
um, stretch bags like these. You got aftermarket stretch bags, right? Aftermarket. Yeah. So he's got he's got uh, motorcycle drop guards, but I don't think that's going to help. His bag is going to hit the ground, right? Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. If you need to see it again, I'll do it again. Trust and believe. Keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. I forgot to say that. Everything you're doing today, head and your eyes up. Helps with your balance. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. How could I forget? When we do this exercise, once you open up the clutch and you move, I want you to come to a controlled stop. Remember, it's all about being in control. When I used to do this, people would fly out. And they were like, woo, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Technically, they did. They did what I asked them to do. But I need you to come to a stop, right? Smooth. Don't stop. No, nothing crazy. Like, there's no wall in front of you. Nice and easy, okay? I'm going to do this in front of you. I'm not worried about running into you because I'm controlled, right? That's why we're covering the rear brake. Oh, first gear. Cover the rear brake. Reload. We don't need a lot. All right, there it is for me. Pick up my foot. Stop. So if the bike starts to fall to the left and you open up the clutch, it's just going to go to the left. All right? It's just going to go to the right. Smooth control. Stop. Now, if it's going to the left and your handlebars turn, don't just hit the rear brake and stop with the handlebars turn. Remember, control. Go back into the friction zone. You're already in the friction zone anyway when you open up the clutch. Pull it in a little bit. Rear brake. Boom. Any questions? Now, the other thing we didn't mention, but another reason we practice is because it gives us options. And when you're out there in the real world riding your motorcycle, you're limited to what you know how to do. So that's why in certain circumstances, like a gas station, motorcycle riders love their gas stations. If I'm right here and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Most motorcycle riders, okay, I'm going to back up. I'm going to do Making a turn here is not even on the list. No, a U-turn, not even on the list. But we're taking care of that. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Listening to my throttle. Doesn't matter if the handlebars are turned, right? Mount up. Because somebody said that they, they move up on their seat as far as possible to make these because... It definitely you, helps. When you were turning, I mean, I'm not going to be able to... My arms are too short. I'm not going to be able to make that oh. turn like that. One more thing, guys. A few of you, Lance, a few of you would benefit... Where's the black street light? Right here. A few of you would benefit for, from higher handlebars, especially you, Lance, because you're tall. Your hands are down like this. Anything you do on your motorcycle is going to feel a little awkward. Tw 10 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, right? I have 10 inches on my street glide. What a world of a difference it makes. This whole slow speed thing, when you're going fast and straight, none of this stuff matters. That's why people just say, those handlebars look cool. I'll take them. And they're riding like this, right? Because they know they're never, ever going to make a turn at slow speeds because they don't know how to, so it doesn't matter. But once you learn how to actually ride one of these things, oh crap, I can't do this. I can't even reach my, my clutch. So just keep that in mind. It'll definitely help. Sometimes it's just an adjustment too. I had to adjust yeah, adjustment. That ain't gonna work for him though. His is just too low. But sometimes the higher handlebars help because you can pull them closer to you if you're shorter, right? Keep that in mind too. All right, good question. Also scooting up on the seat. That's what he was talking to me about, balls on the tank. That helps too. Now, again, in the real world, am I doing that to make a turn? No, that's like something you do out here, so don't worry about it. Good. All right. You know what you're doing? I hope so. Oh, you know what you're doing. Make sure you're in first gear, cover the rear brake. Yep. Reload, good. Clutch right before the sweet spot. Ah, see, it right there. That's trust and believe. You were good. To a stop. All right, good. Park over here. So, Eve, so right there, perfect. Right when he was going to start, he picked up his left foot and then put his right foot down. Right there. You feel that? Just open up the clutch. All right. That's all you got to do. Matter of fact, go back, go go back around because we're going to do this more than once. I already know it. We'll do this twice at least. All right, come on, man. Head and eyes. See, don't turn with the handlebars. Don't, don't turn. Don't stop with the handlebars. Turn. Straighten out. 
Okay, you're gonna make sure you're in first gear. Yep. Cover the rear brake, preload your throttle, and keep it there. You're bringing back memories listening to this. Best Good. sounding Honda in the world. Uh huh. <laughs> keep it right there. Keep it loaded. Clutch right before this friction zone. Good. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Trust and believe. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Come to a stop. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. You can park. Beautiful. Copy and paste that. Copy and paste. Trust and believe, man. Trust and believe. Head and eyes. You're looking down. Keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. Rear brake. All right. You're going to get there. You just got here, man. All right. Make sure you're in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Right before the friction zone. All right. Nope, nope. All right, good. Don't move an inch. Pick up that foot. Trust and believe. Let it out. Let it See? You heard your throttle go down? Keep it loaded. Trust and believe. Don't get there, man. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't move. Good. Pick up your foot. When you're ready, let it go. Good. All right. Go back around. All right. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. Reload. Nice! Nice! You know what you're doing, right? Alright. There we go, come to a stop! Beautiful! You can park, you don't have to do it again. That's exactly how I wanted to look. Trust and believe. I can already see you're comfortable on this, so that's good. Don't stop at these handlebars turn. You know what you're doing? Alright. No, 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 no. You were moving. Pick up your foot. This motorcycle shouldn't be moving an inch. Right. Trust and believe, Lance. You, man. Come to a stop. Good. You can park. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. Make sure you straighten out before you stop. All right. First gear. Check. First gear. Cover the rear brake. Yep. Pretty low. Keep it loaded. Clutch right before the switch zone. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Don't let that motorcycle move an inch. There we go. Let it out. Ah, oh, that was it. That was it. That was perfect. Come to a stop. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. That's another 10 push-ups. All right, listen. When you pick up your foot, I don't want the motorcycle moving a millimeter. Trust and believe, all right? And when you come up here and stop, make sure the handlebars are straight. Don't stop with the handlebars turned, okay? All right. Straighten out, straighten out. So you stop it with the handlebars turned. You wanna make sure you're straightened out. All right, make sure you're in first gear. Yep. Cover the rear brake, preload. Clutch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up that foot. Don't let that bike move at all. When you feel it forward, open up that clutch. Nope, no, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Your foot shouldn't be on the ground if the motorcycle's moving. Pick up your foot. Trust and believe. Come to a stop. All right, try that again. Looking good. All right. First gear, cover the rear brake. Preload the throttle. Keep it loaded. Clutch. Look at that. Look how little that is. That's nice. Right before the friction zone. Pick up that foot. Let it out. Let it out. Nice. Come to a stop. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was beautiful, man. Had a nice. Had a nice. Yeah, see how when you turn, this elbow is right here because the handlebars are too low. So what do you have on the road, King? My Row King? 10s or 12s. Those are 12s. But on my Street Glide, 10s. Like if you, 12, I got 12s on my Limited, so 12s are good too. 
Anything better than this, this is too low. All right, first gear, yep, covering the rear brake, preload, keep it there. Right before the friction zone, when you're ready, pick up your foot. Don't let this motorcycle move at all until your foot's up. Trust and believe. There you go, let it out, let it out. Oh, you had it. That was perfect. Woo! Head and eye, straight ahead, good. Trust and believe. Come to a stop. All right, good. Very nice. Remember, you know when you're going to stop, so don't put the foot down until you stop it. All right, first gear, yes, cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle. Keep it there. Right before the friction zone. Pick up your foot when you're ready. Let it out, let it out, let it out. See, that only happened because you didn't keep it loaded. Your throttle has to be higher. It's too low. So give me a little bit more preload. Good, come to a stop. Nice. I forgot to tell you this. You see what happened to him right there? Right? He popped the clutch. But the only reason it shut off is because his preload was too low. Again, we get so fixated on picking up your foot while the bike's not moving, you forget about your, your throttle and it goes down. So keep in mind, even if you pop the clutch, none of these bikes are doing a wheelie out here, so don't worry about it. You got the rear brake to, 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 to pick you up, so don't worry about that. Sometimes, if you let the bike fall and count to five Mississippi, yeah, you're gonna have to pop that clutch and probably give it some more throttle, all right? Okay. Your wife's recording, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Straighten out, straighten out. No, don't stop with a turn. All right. You're good. First gear, cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle and keep it loaded. Listen to that engine. Listen to it. Keep it there. Pick up your foot. Don't move. Try that again. This time, don't move at all. It was moving a little bit. There you go. Oh, that was it. Yeah, keep it loaded. That's all that is. Keep it loaded. Trust and believe. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Yeah, the throttle keeps going down. Gotta keep it loaded, listen to that engine, and try to concentrate on keeping that sound steady. Preload it, let me see. Preload, preload and keep it there, right there. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Pick up that foot, keep it there. See, it went down. Come to a stop. All right, good. Keep it loaded, baby. Keep it loaded. Shut it off. Can you use or hear me? All right. So when he's making this turn, he's making the turn. Now he says, okay, it's time to stop. He's where he wants to be, but he's still turning. So what does he do? He starts braking. Handlebars are still turned. Bike starts to fall. And then his foot almost slipped out. Remember, this is why we also practice stopping with ease and grace. If you have a stop like this and the ground is slippery, you're going to go down. All right? Please, remember, come to a stop and right the handlebars before you stop. All right? We're only going to do this once because, again, this is something that you just have to work on. It doesn't make sense for all of us to keep doing it. You know you got to work on this, all right? Trust and believe. All right, let's do it again. Unless you want to do it again, you can do it again. Good. Keep it right there. Pick up that foot. Trust and believe. Let it out. Oh, you had it. That was good. Good. Preload's good. Pick it up. Let it out. Come to a stop. Woo! 
Woo! Nice, you can park. And a nice. Good, 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 good. Rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Straighten out. How are you push-ups? <laughs> Man, I was just about to say 10 push-ups. <laughs> Alright. Make sure it's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle and keep it loaded. Keep it. Give me more. Keep it right there. Clutch right before the friction zone. All right, right there. Don't let that bike move. Pick up your foot. Let it out. Let it out. Preload. 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 Keep it there. Pick up the foot. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Good, come to a stop. Nice, you can park. Moto Guzzi! Straighten out. All right. You got this, know what you're doing? I think so. Motorcycles in first gear. Yep. Cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle. Listen to that sound, try to keep it there. Clutch right before the friction zone. And when you're ready, pick up that foot. Don't let this bike move an inch. Give me some more preload. Yeah, right there, keep it there. Let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. See? And that's because you concentrate so much on one thing, you forget about the throttle. Keep that throttle up. Keep it loaded. All right, let's try it again. All right, reload. Give me some more preload. Right there, keep it there. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Keep it loaded, good, come to a stop. Good job, you can park. Straighten out. All right, don't stop with your handlebars turned. All right, let's do it again. Last time. And then you can park over here. Trust and believe. Everything's gonna be all right. Keep it loaded. Open up that clutch, baby. Don't move, good. Pick up the foot, pick it up. Let it out, let it out. Good, come to a stop. Good job. Yeah, park over here. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Whoa! That's a first. That is a first. Front brake lockup. I didn't even touch the front. Okay, rear brake lockup. <laughs> All right, but all that's an indication of is you're not keeping it loaded. Listen to that throttle. Let me see your preload. Keep it right there. Listen to that sound. Concentrate on that sound. Don't move. Don't move. Let it out. Let it out. Keep it up. Good. Good. Come to a stop. Good job. Park over here. Straighten out. All right. All right, last time I'll say make it count. All right, one more time. This time don't move. You were moving. There you go. Let it out. Let it out. Oh, that was it. <laughs> straighten out. Straighten out. All right, that's another 10. <laughs> I've always been trained to keep two fingers on the brake, so that's where I go to. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, you know, that's what I mean. Just reach reprogramming. Yep. All right, let me hear you three. Let me hear your preload. Good. Keep it right there. Listen to that sound. Listen to it. Listen to it. Pick up your foot. Listen to that sound. Listen to that sound. Trust and believe. Let it out. All right. Trust and believe. Let it out. So now you're not letting out the clutch. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good. Off the rear brake, too. Preload. Good. Keep the preload there. Good, good, good. Come to a stop. All right, it's another 10. Park right here. <laughs> Straighten out. All right, good. This is it. Last time. I know you got it this time. So I got a pre drill for this one. Pre. Pre drill? Yeah. What do you mean? Biking gear not even running. Take your foot off and balance. I was sitting back there for three, four seconds. 
Perfect. Let's do it. Good. Let it out. Let it out. Straighten out. Come to a stop. There we go. Park right here. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Last time. And then you can park over here. Let it out. Let it out. Good. Come to a stop. Come to a stop. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Straighten out. Straighten out. Good. There we go. All right. Preload. Now, the good thing is I'm looking at this. We had it up to about two and a half. And as soon as you picked up your foot, down to one. Keep it loaded. Good. Let it out. Let it out. That was it right there. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Come to a stop. There you go, Joe. You can park. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Straighten out. There we go. All right. Let's do it again. Last time. You can park over here. Cover the rear brake. Cover the rear brake. That's how we start all the time. Okay. Nice and easy. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Easy. That heel just missed that. Just missed this. All right. We don't want to do that. All right. Head nice straight ahead. Preload. Keep it right there. Pick up that foot. Trust and believe. Let it out. Oh, that was it, Mike. Good, good. Come to a stop. All right, you can park. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Straighten out. There we go. All right, last time. Make it count, Ron. Make it count. I see you got the shoulders working. All right. <laughs> Give me some more preload. That preload is way too low. I'm looking at it. It's under one. There we go. Keep it right there. Let it out. Let it out. Open up that clutch, baby. Open up that clutch. Preload. Come to a stop. All right, you can park. All right, guys. Preload is the... That's the issue. Let's talk about it. All right, so guys, it, it, it never fails. It never fails. If I see you having an issue in there, it's the same thing. That's why whenever I hear about a motorcycle going down, or that saying, I had to lay her down. No. Every time I hear that, I'm, I'm not a Monday morning quarterback, but I, wanna, I so want to know what happened. I can almost bet my house what happened. Not enough power to the rear wheel. That's why the motorcycle went down. So some of you guys are making this turn. Remember, guys, if you know that you struggle going slow, straight up, and making a turn, if you know you struggle, then today I don't want to see you doing anything at speed, leaning to make the turn. You should be practicing going straight up. So a couple of you guys, you're making this turn. Oh, Ducks don't walk backwards, guys, so don't worry about it. Also, of course, out in the real world, this is not a competition. A hero is nothing but a sandwich. So if you're not comfortable someplace and you got to duck walk your bike, you duck walk your bike, right? You guys see me pulling out of my, my damn garage doing exercise number four. I don't suggest everybody do that, right? So we're getting ready to go to exercise number four anyway. So when you guys are approaching this exercise, you can't approach that exercise idle in the motorcycle. You need power. The other thing is a lot of times when I say, okay, pick up your foot. One guy, the RPMs, I'm looking at them. It's between the two and the three. As Soon as he picked up his foot, they went down to an under one. That's when you need the power the most, right? But that's what I mean when I say we play how we practice. If you don't get it into your muscle memory 
here, you're going to do it out there. And another, and another thing is a lot of you guys were turning at an angle. So if you're turning at an angle and you're going at a certain speed, now you're leaning the motorcycle. And now, uh oh, it's time to stop. So now you're braking, you're braking, but you're still like this. How are you going to make that motorcycle stop leaning? Power. It always wants to stand up with power. Provide power to the rear wheel, right that motorcycle, rear brake, head and eyes, come to a stop. Nice and easy. All right? Anybody have any questions? Hey, Milt, what's up, man? What's up, man? Anybody have any questions regarding that? Now, listen, guys. I want you to practice that. All right? Practice that in a controlled environment, not in traffic. Because, again, that little feeling where you're not even moving, nothing's around you. If your motorcycle falls, it's just a tip over. And still, we don't like the way it feels. We, we will never like, somebody asked me, when am I going to get over this feeling of falling? And the answer is never. You're never going to get over the feeling of falling, but we're going to change your reaction to that. You're not going to put your foot out. You're not going to panic. You know that's the answer. So please listen to the throttle. I told you guys this was going to happen. I'm saying listen to the throttle. Yeah, all right, all right, Rob. And then you ain't listening to nothing. It's just, mm, right? And then also, sometimes you guys picked up your foot. Oh, this is it. I'm saying to myself, this is going to be perfect. Then the foot goes down. Your throttle was fine. But when we feel nervous, we do this. So you never opened up the clutch, right? That's why we put the clutch right before. I figured I should say this too, because I can tell you here's the five steps. But if you don't understand why we're doing the steps, it's pointless. We all know step number one, first gear. We know why it has to be in first gear. Because you're doing something like this. If you're in the wrong gear and you open up the clutch, good luck. Step number two, covering the rear brake. We know why we're doing that, because when it's time to stop, we're already there. Preload and keep it loaded. We damn sure know why we're keeping it loaded, right? All right. Clutch right before the friction zone. We're doing that because when you have that I'm falling moment, you don't have to go far to get power. It's right before. All you got to do is do that, and you're there. When you, if it's all the way in and you go for it, yeah, nine times out of ten, I've seen it where somebody's opening up their hand and they're still falling because they got one of these hydraulic clutches and it's way out, all right? Okay, any questions? All right, exercise number four, guys, right turns, left turns from a stop. Remember, I told you guys we're going to be living in the friction zone today, right? So keep in mind, one to 10 miles per hour, we already talked about that. A lot of people are not comfortable. The only thing keeping this motorcycle up at slow speeds is the friction zone. That's it, right? Um, so, you guys that were coming over here struggling, I'm going to let you know now, this exercise has the highest failure rate. Everything that we've done leads up to this. If you're comfortable stopping and starting, if you were comfortable doing the slow ride, this is the slow ride. Head and eyes, turn the handlebars. The only difference is you're turning the handlebars. Anybody here have an issue with turning the handlebars or locking them? Anyone? Locking them. Locking them. Okay. You guys watch my video on that whole concept of why your motorcycle is actually more steady with the handlebars turned? Okay. This is why um, some of you guys... Uh, anyway, scratch that. All right. So, five steps. No, I'm sorry. This is eight steps, guys. Eight steps. All right. Step number one, same thing. Make sure it's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload and keep it loaded. Clutch right before the sweet spot. Step number five now is head and eyes. You, you listening, Will? Head and eyes. Head and eyes. If we're making a right turn, you're looking there, looking there. Remember, one of the C's in preloadination is consistency. So, when you look, consistently look in that direction. A lot of you guys are going to look. You're going to look down here. Look. You're going to look down here. You're going to end up over here, right? Step number six, slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. Still covering that rear brake. Step number seven, as soon as your motorcycle starts to move, pick up your left foot. Still covering the rear brake. As a matter of fact, you should be on the rear brake. And then step number eight is turn the handlebars. So three things determine the radius of our turn, how much you lean the motorcycle. We're not leaning in here. Forgot to tell you that. Do not lean. That's why I, I got these new cones. Because people would lean and their bags would go right over. I got you, Rob. You got those little cones? I'm going to go right over them. Speaking of little cones, very small, young, impressionable. You're all grown men. Don't stare at the cones. It's inappropriate, right? <laughs> Head and eyes. Now, I'm not telling you don't look at them. That's not realistic. Yeah, look at them. Your general idea of where they are, your peripheral vision will do the rest. Head and eyes, handlebars. So, speed, that's the number one contributing factor to people having issues here. Because when we don't feel comfortable, we introduce speed. 
Guys, do me a favor. Control, remember that. I don't care if you hit these cones, any of them. I don't care. If you go to make this turn and you feel a uh-oh moment and you open up the clutch and go out here, but don't put your foot down, that's a win, right? Because that's a uh-oh moment in real time. That's trust and believe. You felt that and you reacted. No big deal. As you work on that, you're going to see that you can do that and still not shoot out. Just turn the handlebars, use the rear brake, okay? All right. The first time you guys go through here, I just want you to go straight through. We're going to start going left. Straight through, all right? Second time, I'm, well, I'll, I'll tell you when. Then I want you to stop. Now, I stop right here, but that's where I want to stop. If you're not comfortable stopping right here and you want to stop back here, that's fine. That's fine. But I really don't want you to go any further than this, all right? Stop. Nothing changes when you do it from a stop. Remember this exercise? Same thing. The only difference is you're turning your handlebars. Now, I get it. When you first go to move, sometimes the motorcycle feels like, uh-oh. What do we do when we feel, uh-oh? Friction zone. Trust me, it's going to work out. Now, don't pick up your foot like this because then you're going to throw the weight of the motorcycle to the right. All right? Remember, we don't do anything herky-jerky. We're also not doing exercise number three, so you shouldn't be picking up your foot while it's not moving anyway. As soon as it starts to move, foot up. That means I don't want to see you guys doing this. Still don't trust it. Still don't trust it. Mike, that ankle was coming real close, man, to that, those saddlebag guards. So we got to make sure we don't do it. And remember, guys, I don't want you leaning here, but the thing is, if you turn here and the motorcycle starts to fall and you put your foot out, you're bringing the saddlebag and, that guard, and the guard closer to your ankle. That's not going to work out, okay? So power out. Any questions here? All right, so I'm going to demonstrate it. Now I'm going to exaggerate it. You don't have to go that slow. But I don't want you to go fast either, guys. Remember. When you make this turn, you can actually be in here and still make this turn. We're doing this straight up. I don't want to see a lean at all. Straight up and down. Head and eyes. Listen to your throttle. Use the rear brake the whole time. You, don't, you shouldn't have to be pop locking in here, right? You, you know, nice and easy on the rear brake, okay? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. First time straight through. Also, I try to stay on the white line when I'm approaching. If you want to go to the right a little bit, that's fine too. Just stay straight up and down. But all that's going to show you is you need to practice at this. The better you get at this, you're going to realize you don't need to be back here. You don't need to be to the side. There's plenty of room for a motorcycle to turn straight up. I forgot to also mention, the speed you're approaching, if it's a good speed, stay at that speed the whole time. You don't have to worry about it right? And that's, that comes into play with a lot of stuff. U-turns too. As you're approaching the U-turn, get your throttle where you want it, get your clutch where you want it, and just keep it there in the friction zone. Now all you have to do is head and eyes, turn the handlebars, lean the motorcycle. Head and eyes, rear brake, rear brake. Straight up, rear brake. Straight out. All right, so you see what my motorcycle is? See what my motorcycle is? This is ideally where you want to end up, in the middle of this lane. If you're over here, not a big deal. This is going to simulate a double yellow line. Track the trailers are going this way. And all of them, they're, they're sleepy. They've been driving well past the log hours, right? And they might come over a little bit. So even though you're in your lane, where are your handlebars? Where's your elbow, right? So we want to kind of be here. The only way you're going to get here, your speed has to be low enough, you got to turn the handlebars. You don't have to lock anything here, right? Nothing out here requires a full lean, dragging the boards, locks. I already told you, it's not the point of this, all right? Okay, now I'm going to do it from a stop. And I'm looking at a lot of you guys approaching the exercise, your head and your eyes are like this. Look where I'm going. That's where I want to look. As I'm approaching here, we're doing that again. We're doing exercise number one again. It, it always comes in. All right. First gear, cover the rear brake. Preload, keep it loaded. Clutch. Head nice. Slowly release the clutch. As soon as it starts to move, foot up. Handlebars. Listen to the throttle. If I need it, I got it. And then last, I want you to stop and then come to a stop. Again, we got to be in control all the time.
Straight now. Boom. Any questions? Now, of course, if you pull deeper into this turn, now you're going to have to start with the handlebars turned, right? And if you pull it even deeper, you have to start with the handlebars turned and do exercise number three. You got to let it fall because now we need lean to make up for the space. We're not doing that unless you want to do it. What'd you say, Mike? You want to do it? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> all right, line up. All right, left turn, straight through, straight through. Head and eyes, look at my camera, look at my camera, look at my camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You're pop locking, that's why. Keep it loaded, baby. Looking good, though. Keep it loaded, just go straight out, go straight out. You're good. Keep it loaded. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Oh, that's another 10. Head and eyes, straight ahead. Left, 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 head and eyes, head and eyes. Remember, you're doing the slow ride again, that's all it is. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Good job, I got Carlos over there off camera, waving his arms. Good, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Nice. No, don't stop, just go straight through. Straight through, straight through. All right. Nice and easy, good. Had a nice look at the camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. No, we're not stopping. Straight through. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Gotta let that clutch out. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes, look at the camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice. Rob knows what he's doing here. Nice job, Rob. Look at my camera next time. Straight through. Head nice, head nice. All right, you're leaning. I don't want to lean. Straight up. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Keep it loaded. No, don't lean. You're leaning. I don't want to lean. Straight up. Straight up. But good job on that trust and belief. All right, straight up and down. Straight through. Head and eyes. Good. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Good, 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 good. Very nice. Good, good. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Too much speed. Too much speed. Too much speed. Stop at the handlebar straight. Can you hear me? I want you to imagine this is a loose gravel road. This is where this skill comes in. You need to be able to know how to make a turn. You can't put your feet down when it's, when it's slippery too, right? How, how, how good of an idea is that? 900 pound motorcycle putting your foot down, right? Wet leaves, loose gravel. I need to make a turn. What's the best way for me to do that? I don't care how minute that lean is. It'll put that bike down. Straight up, okay? Trust and believe. Good speed, good speed. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake. 
Pull that clutch in. Keep it loaded. All right. Straight through. Straight through. Keep it loaded. Had a nice. Had a nice. There we go. Nice. Nice. Straight through, baby. Good. Head and eye. There we go. Work it out, baby. Work it out. Nice. Keep that speed. Keep that speed. Head and eye. Head and eye. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Open the clutch. Open the clutch. Open the clutch. There we go. Good. Straight through. Straight through. Keep it loaded. Head and eye. Look at my camera. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead, straight through. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Perfect. Good. Straight through. Straight through. Straight through. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice, man. Very nice. Straight through. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Easy on that rear brake. Slow down. Straight through. Straight through. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, slow down, keep it loaded. You're coming through here with no power, zero. Keep it loaded. Exercise number two. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Shut it off. Kickstand first. Shut it off. Nope. Yep, there you go. Step closer. No, 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 no. You're going to hurt your back like that. Okay. Yep. And just pull, push, walk. Pull, push, step. Go ahead. Pull, push, step. There you go. Walk. Step, 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 step. There we go. Push it, push it. Push it all the way over. There we go. Why did that drop? Wasn't in the, in the uh, didn't keep it loaded. That's it, no power to the rear wheel. That's it. When you, it's actually, you started moving left and then when you went right, same thing. You got the clutch all the way in. It's gonna fall. Yep. Just open up the clutch, throttle out, baby. Identify and retry. Head and eyes up. Preload, preload. Even when he pulled away from here, his throttle's too low. Gotta keep that preload up. Good, straight through, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, straight through, straight through. Head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Yeah, you got this, that throttle's low all the time. This is straight through. Straight through. Good, head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go. I don't have to send in the rob. Head and eyes, Rob. Look at the camera. No lean, no lean. Good job. Straight through. Look at my camera. No lean. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go. Good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Straight up. Turn the handlebar. Straight up, straight up. Keep it loaded. There we go. Straight through. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Straight up. Good. Good job. Good. Head and eyes. Slow down. Rear brake. Rear brake. Now what happened there? You didn't like the way it felt. You just pulled that clutch right in. Yep. Keep it loaded. Trust and believe, man. You're good. You're good. Straight through, Joe. Straight through. Head nice. 
Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Now right there, I see his hand. As soon as he feels, uh-oh, he squeezes in. That's not what you want to do. Do it from a stop. Now I notice you ride like I used to okay. with your foot like this. Yes, you don't want to do that out here because we're going to be doing some leaning and stuff. Keep that fit all the way on that footboard. All right, you ready? From a stop. Head nice. Head nice. All right, bring it back, bring it back. Actually, shut it off. All right, so you hear me saying head nice, head nice. He Will head nice make your turn better? Yes. I don't need my head nice to make a tight turn. You know what I do need my head nice for? To see what the hell's going on before I make the turn. This is what I'm talking about when I say there's certain things we have to make it a habit. You need to be in the habit of looking before committing to a turn, especially in a U-turn, because now you're turning behind you, and stuff happens fast out there. So don't think, I checked my mirror, now I'm good. Head and eyes, if I turn my head my eyes and I see a car coming, is there gonna be a handlebars after that? No. So remember, head and eyes. I don't give a crap if you make this turn if you don't look first before you make it. All right, safety first. All right, from a stop. It happens, a balance thing, balance. There we go. Beautiful. Stop wherever you want. All right. Straight through. Head nice, head nice. He's fighting it, baby, fighting it. Straight through. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, Larry. That's the only issue. You're not keeping the throttle loaded. And when you feel nervous, you're pulling in the clutch. Now you got no power. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Pick that foot up. Head nice. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's what I'm talking about, Larry. There we go. Come to a stop. Come to a stop. My bad. I thought you knew. Yeah, wherever you want to stop, that's fine. Straight through. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. So by the time he looked, he's already in the turn. Very nice. Head nice before you turn, though. Very nice, though. Very nice. All right. Good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Straight through. Excellent, excellent. Come to a stop. All right, head and eyes, look at my camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice. Come to a stop. Yeah, this throttle, man. You know what it is? What is it? Pull through the clutch. I gotta adjust the clutch when I'm in ah, the clutch. So that's, that's gotcha. Straight through. Straight through. Head nine. Look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There you go, Ron. Nice stop. Nice and smooth. Head nine. Head nine. Head nice. I was about to say, I already know there's some kind of competition going on between you two. Straight up. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Ah, stop it. Straight up. Nice. 
Nice, nice. He, he went in a little, he lost his balance and went into it deep. So he had to lean. Not a big deal. Knowing what to do and doing it. All right. Nice and easy on that stop. Straight through. Well, I'm having, I'm having a big fear. It's hurting the handle buzzer. It's like I, I see. get paralyzed. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's in my brain. Oh, you've been practicing this? No, not really. Pull That's the it. Road, but yeah. The... You got to practice this. You don't need cones. Just use the lines. Trust and believe. That's all it is. Head and eyes. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Pop locking. Pop locking. Pop locking. All right, you're looking good, man. Oh, stop it. You're looking good, man. Straight through. Head and eyes. Looking good. Straight up. Keep it loaded. 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 Head and eyes. Nice. Good. Nice stop. Just remember, once you start moving, wherever you are in the friction zone, just stay there. Use the rear brake to control your speed. Head and eyes. Listen to your throttle. Keep it there. Good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Head and eyes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Turn. 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 Turn it, baby, turn it. Trust and believe, baby, trust and believe. All right, when you start, when you start moving, wherever you are in the friction zone, just keep it there. Okay. Throttle, keep it there. Use the rear brake to control your speed going through this turn. Head and eyes, look at my camera when you're about to turn. Preload, preload, good, keep it there, keep it there, keep it there, rear brake, head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes, there we go, we're working it out, we're working it out, progress, progress, that's what I'm talking about. You did this from a stop, right? Yes. Stop, stop. Come to a stop right here. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, make sure you straighten out. Come to a stop over here. Head nice. Straighten out. Good job. All right, nice and easy. That's another 10. <laughs> All right, we got progress happening already. Let's do that again. Same thing. As soon as you open up your clutch, when you start moving, keep, your, keep it right there. Throttle, keep it right there. Use the rear brake to control your speed. Head nine. Let's do it. Good, good. Keep it right there. Rear brake. Good, trust and believe, head nice, head nice, head nice. Rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded. Open up the clutch, good, good. It's coming, it's coming. Come to a stop. Head nice, head nice. Outstanding. Come to a stop over here, you're looking really good, man. Really good. Excellent. Come to a stop. Good. Good. You're going to start from here? Or you want to back up? Okay. All right. As soon as you start, wherever you put your clutch, once you feel it's starting to move, keep it there. 
throttle. When you preloading, keep it there. And just concentrate on using the rear brake to control your speed. Head and eyes, look at my camera. All right, let's do it. Preload, keep it there. Open up the clutch. Keep it there, here throttle's going down, head and eyes. Rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded. Watch that heel. Open up the clutch, open up the clutch, open up the clutch. Open up the clutch, there you go. That's the answer. His, the back of his Achilles is right at his engine, I'm sorry, his saddlebag guard. Keep the foot on the board, open up the clutch. Stop right here. Good, good, good. Head nice. Look at the camera. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Straighten out. Come to a stop. Nice. Did you come to a stop already? Okay, good. Come to a stop. I can already see it's a competition going on. He already said you're showing off. <laughs> All right, come to a stop. Head nice. Keep looking at my camera. Look at it. No lean, no lean. Straighten out. Good job. I always say this is not a competition, but nothing wrong with two friends competing against each other to get better. All right, last time that was just a balance thing, plus you're starting right here, so you're good. Yeah, I, I, I lean a little bit that way. Head nice. Good, 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 good. Come to a stop. Come to a stop. Oh, see, so don't turn with the handlebars. Don't stop with the handlebars turn. All right, good job. All right. That, that, we got some progress. We got some progress. Remember, just keep that clutch where it is. Once you got over there, you did it. Keep it where it is. Throttle, once you start throttling, keep it where it is. And just turn those handlebars. Rear brake, nice and easy, drag it. Good, good, head and eyes. Back up. This doesn't happen out in the street. <laughs> All right, I got this. All right, you got this. Head and eyes, head and eyes. <laughs> now remember, nice and easy on that rear brake. Good, 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 good. Keep it loaded. If you came to a stop yet, come to a stop. Good, 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 good. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Trust and believe. All right. All right, nice and easy. You got this, man. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Keep those feet up, just trust and believe, trust and believe. Let that clutch out, let the clutch out, keep the handlebar turned. Not too much, not too much. All right, we're coming to a stop over here. All right, trust and believe, it's getting better already. Nice and easy, good. Let it out, keep that through, listen to that preload, see it's way down. Bring it up, let it up, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Open the clutch, open the clutch, open the clutch. There you go, throttle out. Good job. You came to a stop already, right? Yes. All right, stay right there. Shut it off. All right, guys, remember, some of you guys, now Dave is known for this. I mean, yeah, your head and your eyes are better, but Dave is known for doing that perverted look where he's turning his head, but his eyes are looking at the cones. Like he can sh trick his brain. It doesn't work like that. If you're looking at it, that's where you're going to go, right? Some of you guys are pop locking with your motorcycle. Right, you're going through the, you're going through like this. That's never going to feel good. At, and we're we're going about one, two miles per hour. Now I will admit, sometimes that actually helps me out. Sometimes I need it to right me. 
But if you're making a turn, and you're going like this, right there when I hit the brake, it made my handlebars go like that. Remember, as soon as you take off, I want you on the brake already. Take off dragging it. That way you take off under control. Otherwise, some of you are taking off, you open up your clutch, it's going too fast. I know you don't like the way it feels. Trust and believe, Mike, you, you playing Russian roulette with that Achilles and that heel. Um, when you guys get in there, if you're like this, just open up the clutch, right? You're already preloaded. And some of you guys, I can see your preload, and right before you're going to move, it goes down. Listen to the engine, okay? Please. All right, same thing. We're going to go straight through, but next time we're going we're gonna to be doing rights now. Stand by, I got to put the camera over there. I tell you guys all the time, this is not a competition. But there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition between some friends that clearly I see is going on. Whatever makes us better, I'm all for it. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice. Head nice, straight through, straight through. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That happens. There we go. Straight through. Head nice. Head nice. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Good job, good job, good job. Head nice, good, good, good. Outstanding, man, outstanding. Straight through, straight through. Head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You're good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You're good, you're good. Open up that clutch, open up that clutch. There we go. Good. Head nice, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Straight up, straight up. Rear brake, rear brake. Good job, good job. Good, straight through, straight through. No lean, no lean. All right, Mike, nice and easy. Good, drag the rear brake, head and eyes, head and eyes. Drag the rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go, throttle out. Don't put your foot down. We can work the rest out later, but we can't work it out if your ankle's broken. You hear him, he's on his brake already. There we go. Excellent, Rob. What you got, what you got, Lance? <laughs> Lance said he's a show off. Head now, look at my camera. Nice. Rob is closer to the middle. I'm just saying. <laughs> Good. Head nice, head nice, head nice. All right, he started that turn too late, that's all. Good, straight through, straight through. Head nice, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, so Tony is throttle blipping. I just want him to keep it loaded. I'll tell him when he comes back through. Just get the RPMs where, where they're gonna be and just keep it there, don't blip the throttle. Just giving yourself something else you gotta worry about. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Nice. <laughs> They're like, you go. No, you go. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Turn the handlebars. You gotta turn the handlebars, baby. So that's a head nice thing. And then handlebars. Started out going too fast. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head nice, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, good. There you go, Joe. Rights are better than your left. All right. Straight through. Looking good, man, looking good. Head nice. Pop locking. Come back through.
All right, let's do it. You're looking good. Looking good. Go ahead, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Excellent. Alright, let's do it again. Easy on that rear brake. And nice. Yeah, he's just turning too late, that's all. You just turn it too late, that's all. You turn it too late. He's coming so deep into the turn that he can't do it straight up. Straight through. Head nice. Look at my camera. Look at the camera. Good, good. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nah, I ain't tell you to stop. Straight through, man. But good job. Good job. All right. Straight through. Thanks, Carlos. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Oh, okay. Very nice. I knew that was going to happen. Your throttle's always low. Give me a little more. All right, we got this, baby. Head nice. Look at my camera. Good. Drag that rear brake. Drag it. Head nice. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, good. Keep it loaded. All right. Straight through, head nods, look at my camera. Oh, exercise number three, that's what that was. <laughs> head nods, head nods. We wanna look before we commit. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Okay, yeah. And give yourself a little bit of speed, you're going very slow. There we go, right there. Head and eyes, head and eyes, good. Rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Straight through. Yep. Straight through. Good job. All right. Listen to your RPMs. All right. Preload. Keep it there. Let's do it. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Rear brake. Rear brake. Slow down. Use that rear brake. You're going too fast. Too much speed. Coming at you in 3D. Stop or go through? No, go through. You didn't stop yet. Very nice. <laughs> Just so you know, he's stopping here. I'm just, just so you know. All right, yeah. Head nice, look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Good job. Nice stop, very nice. Now the last time you just went too far in. You gotta start turning like right away with this wheelbase. I don't know. Somebody like holding my hand apart. Yeah. Good head and eyes. Good, good, good. Nice. That wouldn't have worked on a gravel road, but that was good. This trust and believe is good. I don't know what that was, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Right you didn't come to a stop yet. You didn't do this from a no, stop yet. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Straight through. Good, rear brake, rear brake. Hey, Tony, Tony, Tony. I know I forgot to tell you something. So you're blipping your throttle. You're just giving yourself something else to do and causing the motorcycle preload and keep it there. Just keep it there. Let me see you preload. Keep it there. Come on. Keep it like that. Keep it like that. Don't going down. 
Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Better. He just has to control the speed. He's in the friction zone too much, that's all. All right. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. All right. He likes the left better than the rights. All right. Listen to that throttle. Trust it and believe it. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Good, good, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded. Don't blip the throttle. Don't blip the throttle, just keep it loaded. If you keep it loaded, it's gonna be a much smoother turn. A smooth throttle equals a smooth motorcycle. All right, let's concentrate on keeping that throttle steady. Rear brake when you need it. You're gonna need it the whole time. Head and eyes, look at the camera. All right, let's do it. Good, use the rear brake right away, right away. Head and eyes, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, rear brake. There we go. Did you do this from a stop yet? Going right? Okay, stop here. Head and eyes. Straighten out. Excellent. You can park over there. to a stop. Looking good on that last one. Reload. Head and eyes. Rear brake. Rear brake. Rear brake. Too much speed. Too much speed. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Straighten out. Straighten out. Oh. Much better, Dave. Much better. All right. Come to a stop over here. Easy on that rear brake. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Pop lock it, man. You pop lock it. <laughs> All right, you can go park. All right, come to a stop right here. I was on second gear before. Ah, that means you didn't follow the steps, right? Make sure you're in first gear, buddy. All right, I knew something had to be wrong. Head nice. Said he was in second gear. Excellent, you can park. All right, coming to a stop over here. I think you like right turns better than left. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Come back, go back. Turn, turn. Okay, go back. Go back. Okay, go back. Go back. All right, do it from there. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Go ahead, go ahead. Red break, keep it loaded. Good catch. I got it. All right, you can go park. All right, come to a stop and then you can park. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Straighten out. All right, good ball. Good job. All right, come to a stop and then you can park. Good, head and eyes. Good, good, good. Straighten out. There we go, good job. All right, come to a stop over here. Listen to your throttle, keep it there. Head nice, head nice, keep it loaded. Too much speed, too much speed. Whoa, good recovery, oh! That's the start of a push-up, so that's good. <laughs> so I owe you 20 now, right? You owe me, yeah, we'll say 20. I think you owe me like 30. Yeah, you can park over there. But that was good. That was good. 
Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, do it from right there. Because I told Larry you did it from there the last time. <laughs> I mean, Lance, I'm sorry. Head nice. Come to a stop. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Go park, man. <laughs> he was in the middle, but I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> he was right on the line. This is not a competition. Not a competition. <laughs> you already practicing for follow leader. Just do what he does. That's where he was, right? Yep. Head nice. That's where he does. <laughs> oh shoot! See, he thought to himself, "All I got to do is do this clean because this Rob put his foot down, and then he put his foot down too." All right, after this, stop, and you can park. Head nice. I like it. Again, he just went deep into the turn. I got it. He went deep into the turn, so he had to lean. He and the boss is knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. He wasn't going to make that straight up. He was too deep in. Stop over here. Good. Rear brake, rear brake. Head and eye. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I want him to keep it loaded, but I also want him to drag the rear brake. So he's pop locking. He's making the bike do this. All right. Come to a stop, and then you can park. Head nice. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Come to a stop. Straighten out. All right. Don't worry about it, man. All right. Throttle, steady. Rear brake, drag it. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Turn the handlebar. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, you can go park. You can see in his face, he's trying to will the motorcycle to turn. You can't will it to turn. You got to turn it. Show it who's the boss. All right. Last time we did the keeping the throttle loaded. That was your best turn. The, the yeah, time yeah. before the last. Now we got to do the same thing with the brake. You were doing this. Okay. Nice and easy. Reload. Keep it there. Good. Rear brake. Just drag it. Good. Keep the throttle up. Head and eyes. Rear brake. Rear brake. See how fast. Whoa. See how fast you started? That was was. You again? Huh? You don't get to go again. This don't count. Because he didn't go. He didn't go again. You better do it. You better do it good, man. Head nice. Nice. I didn't quite understand how you always talk about how you're so tired after these practices. Oh, man. I see. Wears me out. Man, I see. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to move on to exercise number five, single serpentine. All right. So, guys, this is Ed. The good friend here in Jersey, uh, always representing Preloader Nation on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, uh, Master OB1. M Massa? Master OB1. Oh, Master OB1. And he gave this to me. This is just outstanding, man. This, this gave me a little, like, goosebumps. Look at this, guys. And he said, man, I'll, maybe you can find some place to put this. Oh, of course I got some place to put this. This is just outstanding, man. Wow. Yeah, man. man. I appreciate uh, you. appreciate what you do to uh. us. You know, pre-do uh, pre nation. Uh -huh. um, uh, I've learned a lot since watching your channel and uh, uh, just you know practicing and practicing. I've gotten up much better since uh, you know meeting you and obviously uh, finding your YouTube channel on YouTube. Yeah, man. So I really appreciate it. Man. Wow, above and beyond. That's what I always say, man. I hope you like it. I love it, man. Uh, Thank you, man. I'm loving this rivalry, by the way. <laughs> loving it. He said, finally, he screwed up. All I got to do is do it clean. <laughs> Nope. The pressure, man. The pressure. I say all the time, man. This I'm is. Right at the end, too. I'm like, I got this. Yep. And all of a sudden, I just. 
Because this is our biggest obstacle, man. The mind. I already thought I had him like, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, guys. Good job over here. Um, a couple of you guys. Yeah, just by me telling you. Uh, where's Tony? Tony was one of them. Tony was blipping his throttle as he's going through. We don't want to do anything we don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Steady. Keep it there. If your throttle is steady, perfect. Everything else is going to work out. Clutch. So when you did do it, nice, but now you're in the friction zone too much. So you're going too fast. Squeeze the clutch in a little bit. Rear brake. You'll be good, right? All right. So with that being said, exercise number five, single serpentine. I already told you guys I'm sick of people hugging my cones. It's inappropriate. Now, these are a little more mature, but they're still small children, right? And they're small females. Don't hug them. Don't touch them, right? I want you to keep your head and your eyes looking at the camera the whole time. Now, the good thing is these cones are a little higher. The bad thing is it's going to make you want to stare at them more, all right? Keep your head and your eyes straight ahead, right? See how wide I'm starting? Actually, sometimes I like to be wider. With this exercise, people have a tendency to want to do it like they're on a ski slalom. They want to go like this. Listen, speed is not your friend out here. If you're going too fast in this, you can't dip and dive the motorcycle. So congratulations, guys. I now want to see some leaning. Watch some of you not give it to me. Now I want it, <laughs> right? I don't want you to do this straight up, right? Because then you're going too slow. Remember, we got to split the difference. You can't be going too fast, too slow, just like your RPMs. Don't have them too high, don't have them too low. That Moto Guzzi, always kind of low. Yours too, I knew it was, now he told me he was in second gear when he went through, so what did that tell me? He didn't do the steps, right? Make sure you're in first gear, but his throttle's also low too, right? Again, every now and then we're gonna get away with it, but we're gonna, we wanna make sure we don't, we're not in the habit of keeping the RPMs low. As you guys go through here, keep it loaded, head and eye straight ahead, dip and dive the motorcycle, manipulate it, go out wide. Going out wide is going to ensure you're not going too fast, all right? And that's all this is. This exercise I used to think was just for fun, but my friend rear-ended me, opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. This is, if he knew this, he would have thought to do it. He didn't even have to, no, nothing in his mind said swerve, right? And if we're going fast, you can't swerve like this. The faster you go, what does it do to your handlebars? Straightens them out, right? Nice and easy, not too fast, not too slow. I'm going to do it down, and then I'm going to come back and park, and then you, whoever's Dave, Dave's up. Now, now also realize this, the faster I go, not all I'm doing now is I have, to make, I have to make quicker decisions and quicker transitions. So I'm just making it harder for myself, nice and slow. And remember guys, I also don't want you turning like this, turn, because all this is doing is preparing us for what's coming up, transitions, transitions. And we don't want to transition like this because we're losing space. 15 feet apart are these cones. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Any questions? How fast are you going, Robert? Who the hell knows? <laughs> I'm always between 6 and 10 miles per hour no matter what I'm doing out here. Except for this. This is between like 1 and 3. Right? Um, but, like I said, not too fast, not too slow. And again, a lot of these numbers and stuff, you could, you're going to feel what's too fast and what's too slow. If you're getting right on top of a cone, you're probably going too fast. Sometimes it's just little increments of correction that you need to do. And you're good to go. But don't hug the cones. You all, you all heard that, right? Yeah. Who speaks Spanish? Say don't hug the cones in Spanish. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's do it. Kickstand, kickstand. Kick nice and wide, lean. You're looking at every cone. 
<laughs> you can always tell because of his head. His head is like moving side to side because he's looking at the cones. He's doing the ole right here. William looking at every cone. Shut it off. He just started too fast, that's all. Right on left, left on right. No, 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 this hunt. Oh my god. Well, your bike's lighter anyway, so you can get away with it. What happened there? Pull the clutch in. There you go. This answer's always easy. No power to the rear wheel. All right, just slow down a little bit and you'll be fine. And stop looking at my cones. You're looking at everyone. I think you were naming them. Jail. Johns. <laughs> Stop looking at my cones! Head and eye, straight ahead! Keep it loaded, keep it loaded! You gotta keep it loaded, baby! You can't do this in idle, you gotta keep it loaded, baby! Good, good! See, you're looking at every cone! Keep your head and your eye, straight ahead! Head and eye, straight ahead! Come on, Larry! Keep it loaded, keep it loaded! Keep it loaded, there we go! Turn, 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 keep it loaded! You're doing good, man. You got it. That's another 10. <laughs> it's coming together, man. Coming together. All right, Rob. Lance is looking hard. Head and eye. Straight ahead, Rob. Show off. That's what Lance says every time Rob goes, calls him a show up. Here we go, looking at every cone. Nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, you're going too slow, you're going too slow. You can't lean your motorcycle if you're going slow. Some more speed, you're going too slow. Keep it loaded. Good, head and eye, straight ahead. All right. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good. Lean it. Lean it. Too much speed. Too much speed. Too much speed. Good. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Give me some lean. Give me some lean. Give me some lean. Good. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eye. Straight ahead. Keep it loaded. Can you guys hear me? Listen, the rules don't change. You can't come in here with no power to your rear wheel and I want you to lean. Leaning without power is a fall, as simple as that. So if you're doing one to three miles per hour and you lean, the bike's gonna fall. So pick your speed up and give me some lean. Don't do this straight up. I told you I wasn't gonna get it from some people. All right, let's do it again. All right, show them how it's done, man. Nice and wide.
There we go. Manipulate. There we go. There we go. Lean the motorcycle. Start out nice and wide. Start out wide. Don't start out hugging the cones. Good, good. Slow down. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Head and eye. Straight ahead. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Good. Lean it. Go ahead, I got it. Good, there we go. Lean, transition, transition. There we go. Keep it loaded, baby. Excellent. Excellent. Lean, lean, lean. You gotta lean, you're going too slow, you're going too slow. Good, good. Head and eyes, look at my camera. Lean it, there we go. All right, you can park. Dave. Stop looking at my cones. <laughs> Head and eye, straight ahead. Lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Good, lean it. Nice and easy on that rear brake, you pop lock it. Good, good. Lean it, lean it, lean it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Lean it, lean it. Slow down, slow down. Good, lean it, lean it, lean it. Lean it. After this, you can park, Rob. Head and eye, straight ahead. All right. Start out nice and wide. Good. Head and eye, straight ahead. Keep looking at my camera. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Show it who's the boss. That's what I'm talking about. Why? Go on why? Why? Go ahead, lean it, lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. He's straight up. But we got through it that time. Start out nice and wide. Good. Good. Lean it, baby. Lean it. Lean it. Transition is too slow. Transition. Yeah, you don't like that left transition. Start out nice and wide. Transition. Transition. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it off? No, it ain't. We're burning rubber out here today, baby. Hey, Milton, don't cry. He don't like to see an Indian down. <laughs> left on the right, right on the left. Push, pull, step closer. All right, walk up. There you go. But make sure when you do that, you're using your legs. Just stepping forward. You got it? No. Yep. What happened there? Too much. Bottle. And... No? It's the same thing. You just pulled the clutch in. No power to the rear wheel. It's the only way it's going to fall. All right. Pick it up from here, man. Or well, good luck. <laughs> Go in that direction and just jump right back into it if you can. Yeah. There we go. Pretty low. Slow down, slow down, slow down.
All right, so he's hugging Nicole right from the start. That's why he's hitting him. It's going to be all right, Milt. It's going to be all right. Shut it off. Kickstand down. Yep. It's still on. I still see lights. Oh, okay, there we go. You know how to pick it up? Left hand on the right. Left hand on the right grip, right on the left. Right on the left. And walk it up. Yeah, but push pull simultaneously. Push pull walk. Push pull walk. All right, I got it. Left, right? Yep. Yeah. What happened there? I, no, I was down on the throttle, and uh -huh. I was actually started looking down at the cones instead of, I was trying to stare at the camera. <laughs> but is that what made the motorcycle fall? Uh, I didn't let the clutch out. There you go. No power to the rear wheel. It's always the same answer. Can I go back around? No, nah, you can park. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, go ahead. And listen. Next time you go back around, when you start, don't start hugging the first cone. Start out wide. You're good. All right, keep it loaded, Ron. Start out nice and wide. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good, good, good. Lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Good. Transition, transition. Turn those handlebars like you mean it. Transition. Good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That Moto Guzzi don't want to stay loaded. <laughs> All right, make sure you start out nice and wide. Start out wide. There we go. Good. Good. There we go. See how quick his transitions are? Quick transitions. Quick transitions. Start out wide. Slow down. Slow down. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Good. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Trust and believe. Start out wide. Good. Transition. Transition. Good, good. Transition. Turn him, turn him. Yeah, he wants to go. He wants to go. Start out wide. Good. Good. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice. You got to manipulate the motorcycle. All right. Start out nice and wide. Too much speed, too much speed. Not bad at all, just too much speed. Nice and wide. Still hugging that first cone and then still hitting the second cone. Guys, exercise number six, infamous U-turn coming up next. All righty then. Amazing, isn't it? Single serpentine, something that seems like it's so simple. But everything's easy when you know how to do it, right? Again, like I told you guys, this is just going to show you what you need to practice on. Now, some of you guys, as a matter of fact, yeah. Um, when he was going, remember, a lot of these exercises, if you start wrong, you're going to make things difficult. And he kept starting hugging that first cone. So you're actually not giving yourself the right angle if you're too close to that cone. You should be coming in like this. All of this is going to be relevant with stuff that we got coming up. Remember, all of these exercises build on one another, all right? You take stuff from other stuff and blah, blah, blah. Watch your speed. Some of you guys were in here looking at every cone. I already told William, he was naming them as he was going by. It's Bill, it's John, you know. <laughs> and um, 
Tell me your name again. John. John told me when he dropped the bike, I said, why'd you drop it? And John said, well, he looked at that last cone and then the bike went down. So my question to John was, did looking at the cone make the bike fall? No. I always ask you guys the question, but the answer is always the same. No power to the rear wheel. It's the only way it's going to fall. Unless you're going fast where momentum can keep it up. If you're going very slow, you try to turn the handlebars and lean, bike's going to fall. All right? It's that simple. All right, so trust and believe. Will, Will started out going a little too fast, right? Will, what I'm liking that I'm seeing is when he's doing certain things, if it's not something he planned on doing, he makes the correction on how to do what he needs to do. Exercise number four, he would pull in and start turning too late. His bike doesn't turn like, like the Harley Davidsons do or the Indians. So, and he's got a longer wheelbase. So now he has to lean to make that turn. And he did. Not for the gravel road, he's on the ground because that was the instruction. But at the end of the day, you might think I like to see stuff done perfectly, but I don't. I like to see it imperfect and watch you work through it because that's how you learn. If it was always perfect, that's why I don't do videos with just me doing stuff. If I did a practice session with just me, who the hell wants to watch that? They want to watch regular people do stuff, and they go, oh, I'm struggling with that too. So I, want you, I, got, I also want you guys to identify, if you don't already know, your strong side. Left turns or right turns. I've already seen a few. And that brings me to this, exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. 27 feet wide, guys. Plenty of space, right? We'll see, right? It, but it is plenty of space, okay? Now, everything that we've done up until now is relevant in this box. Now, I am going to have some people that try to make the U-turn or will make the U-turn in this box. Now, Lance said he's an eight, so I know for a fact he's going to be in this box, right? I'm not putting any pressure on him, but Preloader Nation, if I ever ask anybody what they rate themselves, if they say seven or higher, Preloader Nation wants to see it. This happened when I was out in Tennessee at the gas station. The guy was like, I'm a seven. I said, really? I'm an eight. His friend said, oh, okay, then I'm a three. But, but, but he said, I'm sticking to my seven. He got on that bike. Mm -mm. He was blaming everything. The, the rake was too long, this. I got on the bike. It works fine, right? A poor craftsman blames his tools, right? Let me use your rod and say 40. You say, what do you rate yourself? Out there, I rate myself at 8. Everything you're telling me about looking before people are coming, I'm already on that. I love that. That's why I love that I record this, because when you go back and watch it, I said, slow speeds. How do you rate yourself? It doesn't matter, because I told you, at the end, people's numbers change for different reasons. No big deal. All right, so guys, when you come in here, like I said, this is not necessary. Not. But if you choose to do it, fine. If you want to challenge yourself, have at it. If you, if you want to challenge yourself but you don't want to worry about the cones, just go past this white line and try it here. If you don't make it, at least you don't have any cones to hit. Otherwise, when you make the U-turn, come in here. Now listen, I've been saying to you guys all day, wherever your throttle is, keep it there. Wherever your clutch is, keep it there, right? I'm trying to eliminate stuff you have to worry about. That's why I told Tony, stop blipping his throttle, right? Because if you blip in your throttle, you get, not only are you giving yourself something else to worry about, but if you just happen to remember, we're human. Sometimes we'll let our hand go a little bit too much into the friction zone. And if that just happens to happen while you're doing this, now you got that, right? So as you're approaching this U-turn, listen to the throttle, wherever it is, keep it there. Clutch, wherever you are in the friction zone, keep it there. I don't want momentum U-turns here, right? We're not swooping through the U-turn. The friction zone should be pulling you through this U-turn, right? Head and eyes. We already talked about that. As a matter of fact, my good friend over here, the scooter guy, forgot his name. So, yeah, Mike. So he told me that he was in a parking lot and somebody pulled in front of him. So he said, I'm just going to show these guys I know how to ride. So he made a nice U-turn, nice U-turn right into a car because he didn't do his head and eyes, right? And I told him I was going to share that with you guys because it's relevant. It's U-turn especially. So, all right, here's what I say to you guys. See where my camera is? That's where I want you to look. In an ideal world, great. But I know it's not comfortable. I know it doesn't feel comfortable to do this. So do this. See where my pop is standing? I'm not saying he's going to be there the whole time. But you can turn your head in increments of comfort. Head and eyes. Look here because you're going to go there. And when you get up to almost the 12 o'clock spot, now look there. Because your peripheral vision is still looking anyway. You can still see, right? I prefer you turn your whole head. Here's another thing. When you come in here, commit to the lean right away. Don't come in here and turn like this. Look at my head. But even if you got your eyes turned, I see people doing this. Then they look over here, they see that corner, they go, oh crap, that's close. Now I have to lean. So they just made this turn way tighter than it had to be. Commit to the lean right away. So head and eyes. Handlebars. As soon as I turn my handlebars, 
I'm leaning the motorcycle. You don't need to lean a lot. Remember, you don't need to lean a lot. Moto, Gu Moto Guzzi, you barely have to lean, right? Boom. Now, this is 27 feet. You have it all. I don't want you to need it all forever, all right? 24 feet, that's where I'm looking for, a country road or a normal country road, all right? So I'm going to do it. Now, sometimes people want to add a momentum dip. It's just a quick dip, right? Momentum. Wheel placement. Now, again, this is not a competition. You don't have to put your wheel right on this line. If you're over here and you still make the U-turn, when you go back and watch the video, keep that as a mental note that this is 27 feet. You started three feet off this line and you were three feet off that line. Do the math, right? You're good, right? Forget about the lines. Forget about that. Head and eyes, handlebars, turn. Use the rear brake when you need it. And remember, we want to be in control all the time. If you're making this U-turn and you feel a lot of wind on your face, you're not supposed to get wind roll therapy out here, right? If you feel a lot of wind, you're going too fast. Slow down, nice and easy. And make sure when you turn your handlebars, here comes that consistency word again. When you turn them, keep them turned. Don't do this because you're losing space. Now, some of you guys in the single serpentine, we were having an issue with the transitions. You're turning like this. I told you, your transitions are going to have to be like this. Show that motorcycle who the boss is, right? Manipulate it. Okay, so I'm going to go through the first time. Head and eyes, handlebars, make a nice U-turn. The second time, or when I tell you, you guys are going to stop right here. And you're going to make a U-turn from a stop. There's no pressure. You don't have to make it from here. You can go straight first. Head and eyes, make the U-turn. And then lastly, you're going to stop here, make this U-turn, and stop right here. Another thing, when you guys make your U-turn, I don't want to see you swoop the U-turn and now you're going like this. No. Again, we need to be in control. At the end of your U-turn, right that motorcycle, you should be going straight. That includes when you stop. And remember, the rules don't change. We're coming to a smooth stop all day. Some of you guys were pulling up to exercise number five and number four. No. Nice and easy. Everything we do today. Okay? And... Oh, right here. Tell me your name again. Jose. Jose, I noticed that Jose, he's doing a lot of pop locking out here. The bike is like this. But I also noticed that Jose's got the ball of his foot on his rear brake. So you might want to move your foot back just a little bit. That way you don't have so much pressure on it. You know what I mean? All right. Lance, I can't wait, man. No pressure. So listen to my throttle as I'm approaching. My throttle's gonna stay like this. Head nice. Straight out. And remember, guys, there's a such a thing as going too slow. I don't want to see you doing this straight up. You guys are gonna give me what you want to give me. Screw you, Rob. I wanted you to be straight up in exercise four. You want to lean? I want you to lean in five. You're straight up. I don't want you to. I don't want you straight up here. I want you to lean the motorcycle. Remember, we don't need a lot of lean. If you want to make this turn tighter, you're going to have to lean more and turn the handlebars more and or, right? That's simple. Now, from a stop. Same thing. Head nice. I'm not leaning a lot, right? And then last, stop, stop. Straight. Boom. Any questions? Now notice, as I'm approaching this U-turn, again, I don't want to see this. No. Commit to the lead right away. Head nice. Handlebars, commit. Commit right away. We don't need a lot of speed to keep the motorcycle up, right? I, I did that to show you we don't need speed to keep the motorcycle up, but you do need consistent power, sufficient power and consistent to that rear wheel within the motorcycle's lean limits, and you're going to be fine. If you're going too slow, it's going to fall. It's just that simple. Any questions? Dave, you going first? Dave got its own cheerleading team. <laughs> So he's going too slow, too slow. Head nice, head nice, head nice. 
All right, more speed. No, we're coming. Come here. Hey, Dave. Good. Give me some speed. Good, good, good. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep head nice. All right. Go this way, go this way. All right, never mind. Head nice, head nice. All right, so remember, when you make this turn, you're leaning with the motorcycle. You want to counterbalance. You lean, yeah, you lean at speed with the motorcycle. When you're going slow, counterbalance. Go that way. I don't know, if you can go that way, that's fine. Head nice, head nice. Good, good, good. Good job. Good, 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 good. Give me some more speed. You're going too slow, too slow, too slow. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Punch! Good, keep it loaded. Stop, stop, stop. Alright, shut it off. Okay, so what you did, you came in here and you started that gradual turn. So now you're going in this direction like this. You're losing space. Remember, commit to the lean as soon as you turn your handlebars. Head, head and eyes, commit. All right? Don't worry about, if you lean the motorcycle over, you got power going to the rear wheel, don't worry about it. Trust and believe. All right? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. No, we're not stopping yet, but we'll get there. Good job, man. Head nice. Good, good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. He's going for it. <laughs> it's only the first try, though. Oh, I already know where you're going to be, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Head nice. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good job. Remember, you're leaning with the motorcycle. Counterbalance. Don't lean with the motorcycle. Good. Keep that speed right there. Head and eyes. See, you slow down. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. And get that foot up too. Don't let it hang. See, you already mind screwing yourself. <laughs> come on now. Good. Keep it loaded right there. Head nice. Come on. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Bye bye. <laughs> nice. Looking at all my cones. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. All right, good. Good. Keep that speed. Keep that speed. Head and eyes. Dip it. Dip it. Keep it loaded. 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 
done it, baby. Oh, you had it. You had it, Larry. You can see Rob's face. He's mad because he ain't making it. You're going for it. I see it. Nice. Good. Keep that speed. Keep that speed. Give me more. You're going too slow. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There we go. There we go. Good. Dip it. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. He did what he had to do. Or he did what he felt he had to do. Pick that foot up. Nice and easy. Good. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Throttle, throttle. Throttle's too low. I can stand here because he ain't coming here. He's going there. You're good, you're good. There you go. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, some of you, Lance, uh, Ron, you guys are leaning with the motorcycle. Remember, you lean with your motorcycle in the twisties, not in the U-turn, going slow. You counterbalance. You ever, have you seen me? You see, it looks like I got one of my butt cheeks hanging off the... You don't have to do anything that extreme. When the motorcycle leans, keep your body straight up and down. That's counterbalancing, right? That's all you need to do. Now... Keep in mind, whether you lean with the motorcycle, counterbalance, or neither one, none of that's going to help the U-turn. All it does is take away the sensation of falling more. If you lean with it, damn, the ground's right there, right? But it's more comfortable to keep the bike straight up and down. At least it is for me and most normal people. Just kidding. All right, ready? Let's do it. Good. Head and eyes. Look at me. Lean, lean, lean. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. His foot is scaring me. He's hanging out to it. Good, good, good. Look at me. Keep looking at me. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake. Woo! Well, you used the rear brake. <laughs> it's coming together, man. It's coming together. Reload. You know what? Come to a stop at the white line. All right, you turn from a stop. Nice. All right, you turn. Looking good, man. Head nice. Go ahead, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. There we go. All right, making a U-turn, that's all. You can go straight first. Keep it loaded. Good, look at me, keep looking at me, keep looking at me. Keep it loaded, rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You looked over there, that's why that happened. But that's much better, man, much better, Larry. Much better.
All right, you turn. Do it, lean the motorcycle. Head nice, head nice. All right, you turn. Turn to my cones, absolutely, man. <laughs> nice. He also leans with the motorcycle. And look, I see you looking. <laughs> he looked at you like, what do you got? Yeah, got Smiling at you. Head nice. Nice. All right, so before you were going a little too slow, just give me a nice speed into a lean right away. Good. All right. Nobody saw that. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Good, keep it loaded. Good, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. All right. All right, you turn, baby. Looking good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. As soon as he felt that bike getting ready to fall, he put his foot out. Why was it getting ready to fall? You heard it. The throttle was too low. All right, you turn, baby. Looking good. Head nice. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Easy with that rear brake. Just drag it. Don't smash it. All right. Keep it loaded. Use that rear brake. Just drag the rear brake. All right. Look at me. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Too much speed. Too much speed. Keep it loaded. Good. Good. Trust and believe. That's what I want to see. All right, you turn, baby. Reload! Reload! All right, you turn, baby. All right, keep this thing loaded. There we go, keep it right there. Keep it right there. Lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. There we go, there we go. Keep that baby loaded. All right, same thing, nothing's changed. Preload, listen to that throttle if you can hear it. Good, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Look at me, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Rear brake, baby. All right. Preload. Smooth takeoff like before. Lean the motorcycle right away. Keep it loaded. You're fine. As long as you got power to the rear wheel. Good. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. You hear your throttle too low already? Head and eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Turn it, baby. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Let me know if you need to see me do it again. <laughs> All right. Stop. Stop.
<laughs> exactly. I see. The lean was fine. Step closer. Step closer to it. The other foot. The back foot. Step it closer. Both of them. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. Okay. Push and pull. So I know you were going for the 18 feet. The lean was fine, but the preload, you just didn't have the clutch out enough. That's all. Yeah. All right, U-turn, stop over there. Nice. Come to a stop over here. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Trust and believe, Larry. Trust and believe. I do. <laughs> keep it loaded, baby. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes up. Trust and believe, baby. Trust and believe. You're both. We're doing a bull ride here. Nice and easy, nice and easy with that clutch. Good, good, good. Come to a stop over here. Just didn't, you just didn't have the clutch out enough, that's all. Right, stop over there. Nice. Go ahead. I'll try to help you pick this bitch up. Of course I can help you pick it up. Head nice. Come to a stop over there. Over there. After the turn, make some stop. You don't want me to do the 18? You can do that, you just gotta come to a stop at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Come to a stop. Come back in here. Do it the regular thing. You just didn't let the you, you didn't let the clutch out. Yeah, forget about the 18 feet. If he does it, then you do it. Head nice, head nice. Slow it down. Good, good, good. Come to a stop. Beautiful. Do it, we do it when you're going right. And nine. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. <laughs> All right, come to a stop over here. Getting better. Good, keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, excellent stop, too. All right, come to a stop over here. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice. All right, come to a stop over here. Good, keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. Outstanding. All right, let's make sure those pre that preload is high enough. Be right before you even pull off, preload. Good, keep it right there. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Keep it there, lean, lean, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. See, as soon as you go to turn, your, your preload goes down. Yep, keep it loaded, listen to that throttle. Preload, preload, head and eyes up. Good, keep it loaded.
As soon as it starts to move, you, you lose your concentration, the preload goes down. All right. All right. Just come to a stop. You turn and stop. You just had to keep it loaded. You had it. Look where the bike is. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Left hand on right, right on left. Left on right, right on left. Push with this, pull with that, step forward. There you go, walk forward, walk forward. All right, come to a stop over here. All right, come to a stop over here. Good, reload. Keep it loaded, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Lean it, lean it, lean it. Lean it, keep it loaded. Come to a stop. Nice. My bad. All right, let's do this. Come to a stop over here. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded. There we go. Straighten out. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we're coming to a stop over here. You're gonna start out, then you're gonna look at me. And keep looking at me, keep it loaded. Listen to that throttle. Give me more. Keep it there. Come on. Drag the rear brake. Lean the motorcycle. Keep it there. Keep the throttle there. Keep the throttle up. Come on. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Throttle up, baby. Throttle out. Straight through. Nice. Hey, what's up? See you. Good to you. What's your name? Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Yeah. What's doing, man? Smooth like butter, baby. Like butter. Head and eyes, Larry. Keep it loaded. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm over here. <laughs> Momentum, good. Nice. Remember, I don't want to see a swoop at the end. Straight. You like your rights better than your lefts. It looks like it. Identical. Identical. Head nice, head nice. Got to turn those head nice, baby. Keep it loaded. Good, good. Slow down. Head nice. Head nice. Keep it loaded. 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 We're getting there, baby. We're getting there. We're getting there. He started that turn early too. But right, his rights are better than his lefts. Alright, get that throttle up though, a little low. Had a nice! Oh my god, but good job! Go ahead and ice, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Like butter, baby. Like butter.
Good. Speed up a little bit. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Go! Right to better than the left. Definitely, man. Definitely. The best new turn today. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Turn him. Turn him. Turn him. Trust and believe. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. All right, do it from a stop. Trust and believe. That's what that was. He started to let that bike fall. It was falling too much. He was letting the clutch out. It wasn't happening. So he popped it out. You turn. There you go. All right, easy on those stops. All right, we, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. Good. Keep it loaded. Turn. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Oh, man. Every time you get here, you look there. Head and eyes. Come to a stop. I mean, no. No, come to a stop. Go straight through. You see with Larry, that was Larry's best U-turn. Good. That was his best U-turn. That's the furthest he got. But at the last minute, he looked at that cone. All right, U-turn. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Lean it. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Now he's straight up. I want him to lean. All right, we're going to do this together. You ready? Preload? All right, come on. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Look at me, look at me. Slow down, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed, too much speed. Straight yeah, straight through. Park, 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 park. No, after this, we're going to do it and stop. All right, looking good, brother. Everything looks good. We just got to work on the head and eyes. All right, let's do it. Head and eyes. Too much speed, too much speed. So he's lying the line. That's just because of speed. All right, copy and paste, Ryan. That was excellent last time. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Go ahead. Head and eyes. All right. That last U-turn was the best U-turn of the day for you. Yeah, it was. All right? Let's do that again. Keep those RPMs up. Trust and believe. Drag that rear brake. Lean the motorcycle. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. That's right. Stay with it. Stop over here. Head nice, head nice. You ran a stop sign. Yeah, you can park. <laughs> stop over there. Good. You can park, John.
All right, come to a stop and then you can park. Open the clutch, open the clutch, open the clutch. Woo! He almost forgot to stop and then he was like, bam, smashed it. All right, I need you to give me a little bit more speed so that you can lean. You're doing it straight up. Okay, trust and believe. Okay. Good, good, good. Trust the belief. Trust the belief. Lean it. Lean it. Rear brake. Rear brake. All right. A little bit too much speed. All right. So even right there, when you took off, you know, you have. We have to find out the right spot in the friction zone for you. So you went to go off, and you didn't have enough friction zone. So that's why you put your foot down. Remember, you want to put that foot down. That's the answer. Just open up your hand a little bit, okay? All right. Preload, keep it right there. All right, let's go. Commit to the lean right away. Drag that rear brake. Remember the steps. Good, good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Oh, you pick up that foot. It's coming, it's coming. All right, stop, then park. Beautiful. Stop over here and then park. Beautiful. All right, a little bit more speed, a little bit more lean. Keep it low. Yep, stop. Good, good, good. There you go, lean. Commit to the lean, commit to the lean. Head nice, head nice. All right. All right, good job. You can park. But you got to turn those handlebars some more. You don't want to be line to line if you don't have to be. All right, come to a stop. Head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice job. All right, we're coming to a stop. You got like nine cameras on you. No pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> preload, preload. Good, good. Rear brake. Drag it, drag it, drag it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Too much speed, too much. There we go. Good correction. Come to a stop. That's what I'm talking about. It don't have to be perfect. All right, we're doing this together. Preload. Good. Keep it right there. Drag that rear brake. Let's do it. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it up. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed, baby, too much speed. All right. Woo, all right, guys. Moving on to exercise number seven, the figure eight. Let's see how many people are gonna do it. All right. Good job with those U-turns, guys. Again, like everything else, it's just showing you where you need to be. The head and eyes, for some of you guys, is atrocious, right? You have to get in the habit of turning your head and your eyes. It's just that simple. It's a safety thing, and if you doubt me, like I said, talk to my brother from another mother, right? Right into a car, because <laughs> by the time he looked up, it was too late. All right, any questions regarding that? All right, the figure eight, guys. The good news is, this is the same width as the U-turn we were just making, right? So, no big deal there. I gave you guys six extra feet. We got 46 feet to work with. When you guys come in here, now some of you guys were pulling into that U-turn, RPM's too low, especially when I had you do it from a stop. Again, we start thinking about one thing, forget about the other. Listen to your throttle and concentrate on keeping it there. When you guys pull in here, this is gonna be the reminder of exercise number five. We don't do slow transitions in here, otherwise you're gonna have issues. Now, some of you guys have an issue leaning the motorcycle, all right? And it's not a big deal. Remember, I did a video on making U-turns without leaning the motorcycle at all. That's why if you can master exercises one, two, three, and four. If you can master those exercises, but you have a fear of leaning, you got nothing to worry about because you can always just slow, slow ride your motorcycle and do a nice U-turn, right? And people are still gonna be looking at you like this, right? Okay, when you come in here, just like I was telling you guys over there, whatever speed you're coming in here, keep that speed, of course, unless it's too fast. I don't want you going too fast, I don't want you going too slow. Pull all the way over here, 
Now some of us need all of this space. If you need it all, use it all. Don't rip yourself off. I want you guys to come all the way over here. Right? Or here. Head and eyes. See that green cone? That's the green cone I want you to look at. Head and eyes handlebars. Hold the turn. Come all the way over to here. Don't give this space away unless you don't need it. Because if you need that space, when you get over there, whatever you give away here, very tight up there. So ideally, I really want you to look at that cone. But I live in the real world, so look at that cone. Hold it. Hold it. When you get about here, 12 o'clock, now look at that cone. Hold this turn. Hold it. Hold it. Don't go too fast. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Now, if you're somebody that knows, I'm not ready for this yet. Hold this turn. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And I want you to come to a stop, but I want you to be at or to the left of this cone. Because at least that's telling me and you that when you are ready for the transition, you're in the right place. Because if you're over here, this is tight. Not impossible, but you got to lean the motorcycle, right? So again, if you don't want to do the whole thing, hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, and just go out right here. Please don't go into the curb. Don't hit the pole. Don't hit him. He's in the shade. Don't hit him either, okay? If you're going to do the whole thing, hold it, hold it, hold it. I still want you to be in the same place. Transition, head and eyes. Don't wait till you're right here to transition. It's not going to happen. Transition, head and eyes. Look at that green cone. Hold the turn. Hold it. Hold it. When you get about 12 o'clock, now look at this cone. Hold it, because that's where you're going. Hold it. Don't worry about the cracks in the ground. You're going to be all right. Right? Same thing. We're making a fat eight, not a skinny eight. So that's the corner you're going to go to when you come in. But after that, you're not going to the corners. You're going to the side. Do it twice. That's your exit. Four cones represent double cones as an entrance and or an exit. Any questions? And you get a ka if you do it without it. Errors. And if you and if you exit the right spot, some people make their own exits. No kaching. Listen to my throttle. Friction zone. Head and eyes. Hold it. Now I'm looking over there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Head and eyes. Hold it. Now I'm looking over here. Hold it. Hold it. I'm on the rear brake. Transition. And even if I do it in four parking spaces, nothing changes. Hold it, hold it. Transition. Transition. Rephrase. I said nothing changes, but obviously in four spaces, I'm leaning more, I'm turning the handlebars more. But other than that, I'm listening to my throttle. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Any questions? Let's do it. We gave up a lot of space over here. But if he's leaning, he's good, and he's good. All right, look at the exit. You broke the flow. <laughs> you broke the flow. He got to go after him. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, he gave up some space there too. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, that's not happening. Oh, look at that. I love when they prove me wrong. Keep it loaded, good, good, keep it loaded. Good, 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 good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. 
Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Head nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Look at me. Come to me. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Look at the exit. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Woo! Woo! He wasn't doing that before. Practice, baby. Practice. Oh, the fruits of the labor. All right, gave him a lot of space over here. But as long as he's leaning, he's fine. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You gave him a lot of space. You gave up a lot of space over here. There we go. Keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded. Come on, come on. Throttle out, throttle out. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. It's island through some of this. You gotta keep it loaded. You gotta keep it loaded, baby. Keep it loaded. There we go. That motorcycle's loud. I wanna hear it. Good. Keep it loaded. That thing is loud, man. I want to hear it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, head nice. Look at the green cone. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Now see, I want him here, and he's over here. So that's what I wasn't gonna happen. Keep it loaded! Good, a little bit more speed, you're going too slow. Keep it loaded, good, keep it loaded, hold it, 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 transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Lean it. Come on. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Too deep over there. Too deep. Too deep. You got to be over here. And if you are over here, you got to lean that motorcycle. No, no, no. All right, keep it loaded. Give me some more speed. Give me some more speed. Some more speed. You're going too slow. Go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold that turn, hold that turn, hold that turn. Transition. Transition, baby. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good. Give me some speed, give me some speed. Good. Hold the turn, head nice. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Transition. Oh, we were doing, man. We were cooking with grease right there. All right, all right. Again, whatever you give up over here, unless you lean a lot, it's going to get you over here. Good, good. Nice transition. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Good, transition. Keep it loaded. Very nice transition. Next! Very 
nice, nice and smooth. Watch the transition. Very nice. See, quick transition. Good. All right, so he's early on both ends. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This is going to be tight. Hey, John. John. All right, so when you're making this turn, yeah. you're about this far off of this line and this far off of this line. So you're giving this away. That's why it's catching yeah. you there. I'm looking at the end of the, probably end of the parking spaces instead of the road. Exactly. When you get right here, head and eyes, look at that cone. Do it again. Right. Anybody else? Go all the way over there. Good. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Too much speed. You're going fast. Good. Good. Transition. Slow down. Slow down. Too much speed. You're looking good, though. You're looking good. All right. We got Joe going for it. All the way over here, all the way over here. All right, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Why? This is why. But this next turn is going to be really tight. You got to lean that. Yeah. First turn is too wide. First turn was too wide. Yeah. Lean it. Hold it. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Transition. There we go. Head nice, head nice. Hold it, hold it. Transition. Ah, he straightened out right there. Wow, ah, that's really early. All right, he's good. This transition is really good right here. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Woo! Your transitions are really good, man. They're looking really good. Right there, you transitioned really hard. And you didn't like the way it felt. You squeezed the clutch in. You got it, man, because I mean, the, your transitions, I said it to the camera already, they're, they're beautiful. Nice, quick, you're coming straight and just boom. That's why you're giving up a lot of space here, but you still make it down there because your transition and your lean is so good. Very early. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Wow, he's just in there. Good. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Transition. Good. 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 Keep it loaded. Good. 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 Shut it off. Shut it off. All right. Now you're giving up a lot of space over here, but it doesn't matter because you don't need it. When you come over here, you lean enough to stay within the exercise. My issue is the uh, trying to keep the RPM yeah. even. Yeah. And then I got the brake too. I got an arm. Yeah. Keep that even and, and just drag the brake. Just drag it. Don't just drag it.
Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, keep it loaded. The throttle's too low. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Throttle's low. I can hear those Vanson Hines. Keep it loaded! Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. I can't figure out the right turn. Oh, okay. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. All right, guys, winding down. Exercise number eight. Offset double serpentine. Listen, good job in there. You know what you got to work at. Work at. Um, some of you guys a little bit too much rear brake, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, split the difference, right? Identify what you're doing wrong. Some of the, some of you guys, the throttle, you know, it's too low. So you, you you're pushing it. You're pushing it. All right. This exercise, you already heard me saying, hold it, hold it, hold it. That's going to be relevant here too. All right. Now you see I got green cones. If this is too tight for you, instead of trying to go through the gate, go around the green cones. But don't think just because I'm giving you more space that that means I want you to go fast. I still don't want you going fast, right? Because when you go around the green cone, I don't want you to go up past the other line, all right? As soon as you come through this gate, I don't want you to go straight to this gate. Yeah, you could do it, but I don't want you to approach the gates like this. Because if you're not comfortable making tight turns and you go to make this turn, you're going to be all the way over here and you still got to go through this gate. All right, so as soon as you come through, dip. Come over here to the right. And now it's almost like we're doing figure eights again. Come in, dip. Head and eyes. Handlebars. Hold the turn. Hold it. Hold it. Now when you get here, you're coming through like this. Head and eyes. Look at the gate you came from. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Head and eyes. Now we're going through here. Once you get here, head and eyes. Look at the gate you came from. Hold it. People have a tendency to get here and straighten out. No. Hold it. Figure eights. Nice and easy. Don't go too fast. A hero is nothing but a sandwich. I already told you guys that. So again, if it feels tight, don't go through this gate even when you start. Start going around this green cone. Transition. Hold it. Lean the motorcycle. Transition. Hold it. Transition. Now coming back, I did it going straight to the gate. That's what I'm telling you, it's possible, it's just more work. Any questions? Listen, watch your speed and lean the more. I don't want you doing this too slow straight up, all right? Challenge yourselves, okay? Are we going both ways? No, don't just go one way, come around, and when it's your turn, go again. You see, the numbers are getting smaller. That's usually what happens. It's like, our, it's like our friendships. When you're in kindergarten, you got 30 friends. By the time you're an adult, you got two, maybe. <laughs> Do it! All right, go. Dave, Dave's been practicing big time and it shows.
Okay. Good job. Right. We got Rob here. And I already see Lance got his bike on. Good. Good head, nice. Hold it, hold it. Good, good, good. Nice. And right on time. Nice. The competition is strong. Beautiful. I guess the only thing they could do is time each other, see so who could do it the quickest. <laughs> VTX 1800, baby. Now Will's got to watch his speed. See, he's coming to the gate right at it. Yeah. Coming right at the gate. Swing out wide, swing out wide. See how wide he swung out on that first one? Sets him up nicely for the rest. Nice. Keep it loaded! I can hear that thing from here. The throttle's way too low. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, see, so he held that one way too long. So now he's coming. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. The bike is jerking. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Very heavy on that rear brake. Keep it loaded, baby, keep it loaded. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold the turn, hold it, hold it. Keep it loaded, baby, keep it loaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good, hold that turn, hold it. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it, transition, go around the green cone. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I didn't tell you to straighten out. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Too much speed. Friction zone, baby. Friction zone. Got some guys over practicing. U-turns, single serpentine, always an option. Don't make sense to just, if you're not ready for this, it don't make sense to just sit around and watch this. Go back and practice something you need working. So I think it's an excellent idea.
very nice. Look at his head and his eyes. There, now he's looking at the next one. Head and eyes, now he's looking at the next one. Perfect. Perfect. Head and eyes are nice. The throttle is steady. Just the right amount of lean. Lance, okay, Lance doing a little counterbalancing now. No head knife here. Gotta work on the head knives. Nice. Very nice. Good. Nice and easy. Lean, lean, lean. Yeah, you see he's too far out here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go around the green cone. All right, you're good. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Give me some more speed, you're going too slow. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it. Ah, start over. He's approaching this right at it. But he's good. It's just getting tighter and tighter though. But it just makes the figure rates bigger, that's all. Working it out. Alright, whoever's gonna go one more time. Whoever's gonna go one more time. Dip to the right, good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Gotta hold that turn longer. Anybody else? He came out of that turn, the first turn, and just came straight to the gate. Gotta hold it. All the way to the right. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold. You good? Do it again. All right. All you did there. I was telling you, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then you just clutch right in. Yep. All right, guys. We're gonna move on to exercise number nine. Abominable snowman, baby. You guys ready? 
I got guys picnicking. Just remember, ants love testicles. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, guys. Exercise number nine, abominable snowman. This is what's going to separate Rob and Lance's friendly competition. <laughs> what I do love about this exercise is there's pretty much something in here for everybody, right? We got four circles. First circle is 27 feet. Keep in mind, a circle is not the same as a box. It's always going to be tighter. 27 feet. 25 feet. 22 feet. 18 feet. All right? If you haven't made an 18-foot U-turn today, don't even think about the top of this. Of course, you can still try it because a circle is way tighter than a box. All right? The key to this, though, is not ripping yourself off, just like I told you guys not to do over there. When you come in here, if you're going to make a left U-turn, don't start the U-turn right here because you're giving up this space. I want you to bring your wheel right here and then hug these two cones. When you get up here, now I want you to commit to the turn. All right? Now, those of us that are making tight turns, I still want you to do that, but it's going to be, you know, you're going to be way away from the cone on this side. If you're making a right turn, same thing. When you come in here, put your wheel right here and then hug these two cones. When you get up here, commit. If all you want to do is the 27-foot circle, come in, go around, and go back out. This is your entrance and your exit. So if you go in here, you're coming out here. If you want to do the 27 and the 25, go around. And when you come back through here, the green cones just separate the circles. Then you're going to come into here. Same thing. Bring the wheel over here. Hey, uh, Will, you doing this? Okay, but keep your... If you, your speed, you're going too fast. You got to keep your speed down. Hug these two cones, get right here, commit. If this is all you're going to do, go around once and then just go back into the 27. But if you want to keep going, 22 feet, same thing. Around, if you're going to go back out, go back out. If you're going up there, not too many people live up there, very exclusive, right? It's a gated community up there. <laughs> Any questions? I'm the president of the HOA, yes. Any questions? I'm gonna run through it right quick. So, know what your strength, what your strong side is. I think Larry, or Larry, I think Rob's right turns are stronger than his lefts. I think, I could be wrong. So if Rob's gonna end up in that 22 foot circle, which I know he will, he's gonna start a right turn here because it'll be right, left, right. I already talked to Dave. Dave's going into my neighborhood. I'm giving him a pass. And <laughs> he wants to end up making a right turn up there, right? So he's gonna start with a left turn down here. But, Whatever you do do, do do, if you start going right, the next time you do it, start going left, right? We got to work on everything. Keep it loaded, please. Hug it, commit, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Listen to my throttle. Come all the way over here. Wheel placement, commit, head and eyes. Oh! Come in! Hold it! Hold it! Wheel placement! Come in! This ground is crooked! That's it. Any questions? All right, let's do it. Do it right, got to do it left. Yeah?
Commit. Hold it. Hold it. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Good. You did this one better than that one. Too early. Too early. Too early. You made that turn too early. You got to come all the way over there. I'll be over there next time you go. All right, here comes the competition. Huh? Well, none of them are going up there. No. Come in, come in. Lean it, lean it, lean it. There you go. No pressure, man. No pressure. <laughs> They're pretty much even with skill, so. Little warm-up circle, all right. Nice throttle. Not too high, not too low. Like I said, no pressure. <laughs> zero point zero. Keep it loaded. Throttle's too low. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it easier. All right, you're going too slow. Give me some speed. Too slow. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. All right, you're turning early. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Oh, you had it, man. You had it. You had it. Nice, very nice. Head and thighs look nice. That's early, it's early, early. You're good. There we go. Uh oh! What are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs> but that's the C, confidence. Only confidence is going to even make you try it. His head and his eyes are beautiful in there. Keep it loaded. I don't want to hear the chug -a -lug. Too early on that turn. Too early, too early. You can't give up anything in that top circle. So you're kind of turning early. Next time you come up there, I'll be up there. I'll tell you exactly where to put your wheel. Good, good, good. Slow down. Ah. <laughs> All right. Attempt number two. Commit! 
I knew this was going to be the one that separated the two. I knew it. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over. Commit, 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 commit. You're not lean, you gotta lean. You gotta lean. Hug it, hug it, hug it. Open up that clutch, preload. All right. Here comes Rob, so he said, Rob's on his lance. Here's how you do it. Lance just sent me a text. He said, I'm not going home until he gets it. <laughs> All right, give me some more speed. You're going too slow. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's because you're going too slow. Give me some more speed. Speed, speed, speed. Good, good, good. Lean it. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right. Man's got to know his limitations. He said it's not going to happen today, and that's fine. He knows what to practice on. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Throttle's too low. When you're leaning the motorcycle, the only thing keeping it up is power. If your throttle's too low, gravity is crawling. tight over here is because he's starting too early over here. We're winding down. People are getting tired. Their bikes are getting tired. Oh, but wait, there's more. Nice head, nice. Too early, too early. Just on too early, that's all. You're like this far off that cone. 
Put your butt lower. Too soon, you start. So your front wheel is right here. You need to be over here. Right. Motorcycle drop guards. Head nice. There you go. Good. There we go. Lean it. Lean it. Beautiful. All the way over. All the way over. All the way over. Lean it. Commit. 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 You got to lean. If you're going too slow, you can't lean. Got to lean, but you got to speed up to lean. Alright, last time guys, last time. Make it count. Keep it loaded, I hear chocolate log. Say you lean in. Now pick up those cones. <laughs> Almost. We got different goals out here. He wanted to see how many cones he could hit. <laughs> all the way over. All the way over. Good. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Head nice. Easy on that rear brake. Easy on that rear brake. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Lean it. Head nice. Head nice. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it loaded. Close enough. Close enough, baby. That's the goal right there, man. Good job, man. stepping up here if you don't lean it it's not happening it is not happening huh hey butch what's it 18 feet
Good, good to see you, man. Same here. Butch, you want to? Butch, you want to take it in here? Show him how it's done. <laughs> all the way over. All the way over. Hug it. Commit. Lean. 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 I don't think that wheelbase I don't think that wheelbase is gonna work in here anyway. Hug, commit, commit, lean it, lean it, there we go. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Keep it loaded. Stay out of my neighborhood. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to move on to the bonus exercise. The maze, baby. The maze. All right. I'm going to assume, because you guys are here, that you're going to do the maze, or at least attempt to do the maze. All right? No, we're going to do it. Okay, good. Well, the first thing we're going to do... Oh, he ruined it. I was just about to first first thing I'm gonna do is get out of my camera shot. But he already picked it up. Very good. He's observing. All right, guys. Let me tell you something. For guys that even attempted that 18 foot circle, again, that's that C word, confidence. Because if you're not confident, you're not even thinking about going up there, right? So good job. But we had some victories here. 22 feet, right? 22 feet. Knocked it out. When he first got here, he was struggling with the 25, right? But he was like, I'm going in there. All you got to do is keep it loaded. That's the issue that you keep having too, not keeping it loaded. And if, if you're going in these types of turns, again, with the weight of these motorcycles, if you're going too slow and you try to lean, yeah, of course you're going to feel like you're falling because gravity's calling. How do you deal with that? Open up the clutch. So you just have to find the proper spot in the friction zone and stay there. So that's why I say when you're approaching it, your motorcycle's already moving based on the fact that you're in the friction zone, or at least you should be. So wherever you are, just stay there. Now you don't have to worry about it. Lean, head and eyes, use the rear brake, keep the throttle where it is, keep the clutch where it is, you'll be fine, all right? All right, that brings us to the maze. This is just a series of 18 foot or less U-turns. If you go in here, you're making two lefts and one right. If you're going on this side, two rights and one left. So again, we're dealing with transitions, all right? Make sure that when you make the U-turn, don't rip yourself off just like before. And as soon as you make this U-turn, get your ass over to the other side. Don't rip yourself off. All right? Head and eyes. Some of you guys, yeah, head and eyes. I don't, I don't know what happened. They got way better. I mean, it looked beautiful. As a matter of fact, when I look at the videos, when I do the video, that's a perfect still shot. You're coming around that circle, and this is exactly how you look. And that's how you should be. Shouldn't be like this. We got to work on your head and eyes, man. But I, I don't have to say anything. You already know. I told you that that exercise, that was going to be the determining factor. Who's going home with the trophy between you two? I win. This shit ain't working. I'm finishing. What's not working? His bike? Oh, yeah. Well, the only way, he's already ahead, so the only way you're going to beat him is if you do this. I'm going to do it. There we go. Oh, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was just talking about. That nice. Listen to my throttle the whole time. Steady. Steady, steady. If your throttle's up and down, your bike's gonna feel, you know, a little herky jerky. You don't hear nothing scraping, right? So these are 18 foot or less U-turns, nothing scraping. This is, it's still not extreme. It's wider when you're not scraping. Yeah, yeah, obviously, because the more you lean, the tighter it's gonna get. But I don't need to lean that much to make that turn. Now, if you don't, if you rip yourself off, get from in front of my camera, Dave. <laughs> if you rip myself, uh, myself, if you rip yourself off, then yeah, you're probably gonna have to lean some more to make that turn. But if you start right at the line, lean sufficiently. It doesn't have to be excessive. Any questions? Have at it. <laughs> the 
Head and eyes are good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That's it. He got confused. Who's next? Looks like it's you. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Head and eyes. Good, good. Keep it. What's your strength? Your rights or your lefts? Probably my rights. Yeah, I see that. Man, you change these bars, watch the difference it's going to make, man. Eights or tens? That's already eight. It's eight. That's eight? Yeah, so tens. Wait, I just need tens? Tens, maybe even twelves. Because it doesn't mean they have to be high. You pull them toward you. All right, I see the smile on your face, it's confidence. All right, let's do it, baby. Head and eyes. You going? Give me some more speed. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Woo! Oh, man. Keep it loaded. All right, now. Too soon. Too soon. Wow. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice. Straighten out. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice, all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Ah, transition, you gotta transition quicker. But that first turn was nice. Head nice! Look at me! Look at me! You're looking right at the ground, that's why. You gotta look up. You're looking right at the ground. This first U turn he made was excellent. Look at this. All the way over, all the way over. Keep it loaded! Head and eyes, head and eyes. Lean it, baby. Yeah, you're, you're, you're reluctant to lean. Head and eyes, lean it, lean it, lean it. All right, so you're going too slow. That's the issue. Hey, Rob, Rob, Rob. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice. Try it on that one. Go ahead. Dude, I rent out the bike. That's alright. He's happy as hell that your bike's not working, but he, I told him if you don't complete this, he still he still win. As if we can't do if we can't do anything for your turns, how are we gonna do this? You're not gonna do it if you don't lean the bike and scrape That's right. Actually you don't have to scrape it here.
Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Woo! Yeah? Really? No clutch. Nah, too soon, too soon. That left turn, always that left turn. One more time, one more time. There you go. Thursday night, they put the bag bars and the guards on. There we go. Excellent. They pay for themselves. Yes, they do. They they smell a little new. It wasn't the right side. You're on the wrong side. No, the entrance is right here. It, it is confusing. <laughs> Made that second turn too early. Open up that clutch. Didn't hit one cone. All right, guys, follow the leader time. More people were in there than I thought would be.
<laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the slow race, where the winner is the loser. The end of this race is the end of this parking lot there. First one to pass it is the loser. Not a big deal. You're not a loser. You just lost. Okay? All right. Right here. Rear tire. Yeah, okay? I'm going to be standing right here. Okay. When I say on your mark, get set, go, and my arm comes down. If my arm comes down and your foot is still on the ground, just stay there, you're out, all right? If you hit the line, I'm talking about the lines on the sides of you, not this one going across. You're out, just stop right there, okay? And obviously, if you put a foot down, you're out. Just stop where you are. Any questions? Preload it, start your engine. Hey! Head it off! 
guys, remember, on your mark, get set, go! Do it again! Hey! On your mark! Get set! Go! You know what? While you're here, did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely, I did. Yeah. Do you uh, remember what you rated yourself when you first came? Uh, I said four-ish. I you thought four-ish. You did not. You never asked. Ah, uh, it's okay. Any change in that number? Probably five-ish. Pleasure to meet you, man. I got to take the mic before you say something ridiculous. Thank you. You did good, man. <laughs> you did great. You did great. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. I did. What did you rate yourself when you came? Did I ask you? Yeah, you did. Uh, I rated myself a zero, and I'm going to hold true to that zero, uh, <laughs> just because I didn't finish the course. Yeah, I got you. So, gotcha. you know, I have a lot of learning to do, uh -huh. and uh, next time you're in, I'm in. Uh, Pleasure to meet you, man. Keep up the practicing. You. Thank you so much. Did you enjoy yourself? All the time, though. You are definitely, definitely proof that practice matters. What would you rate yourself when you first came? Uh, when I first, today? Yeah, today. Uh, I think 3.5. Any change in that number? A little bit, yes. I'll say at least a five. Okay. Halfway. Good, man. Good, Half, good. Halfway there. Good. Pleasure to see you again, man. Yeah, likewise. Don't forget, man. I live in Pula. <laughs> I'll come visit you when I go more yeah, to man. Florida. Yeah, man. I'm going to come see you. Okay, you moving to Florida? Yeah. When I come on, Will. Enjoy yourself, man? I did, of course. Actually, um, I knew it would. What'd you rate yourself when you first came? A four. You going to change in it? I'm going to think maybe a three because I found a big flaw mm -hmm. in what I was doing. And or found that the longer I'm in that friction zone, mm -hmm. I'm getting harder and harder into the friction zone, mm -hmm. and I'm getting harder and harder on the brake, mm -hmm. and that's just crippling me. Yeah, yeah, a lot of rear so, brake. But so, I, I, I can strongly disagree with your three. I think it's too low, but that's just me. The number's well, for you. So. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. whatever. I feel like it's a little lower because uh -huh. now I realize that I have that problem yeah. where I didn't realize I had it before. Mm -hmm. So All I'm right. to figure out how to work around that now. I think you did great out here, man. Thank you. Definitely trust and believe. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy yourself, man? Oh, it was great, man. Thank you very much. Good, man. Appreciate what did you rate yourself when you first came? Uh, an IOU. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Any change in your IOU? I'm thinking about a 2-3 now. Okay, okay, two, good, three. good. I'll definitely work on it. Yeah. I watch the videos, but this is a lot different. You oh, know? absolutely, absolutely. See, I'm a visual person, even though it's on a video. It's mm -hmm. completely different here. Yeah, absolutely. It's very humbling. And uh, <laughs> and it's important that everybody knows that. It's, everything's different in person. You yes. get here, and it's humbling. Yes. Well, I think you did great. Definitely. I, I appreciate it. Great. Thank you so much for what you All did. right, man. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you. All right. You enjoy yourself? I had a great time. I had a blast. Good. Had a little tech, couple of technic, technical difficulties at the end, so I missed a couple of the exercises. That's okay. But I uh, got it fixed, so I'll be able to make it home. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, I had the loose battery cable, so I missed uh, the snowman. I was yeah. taking a bike apart for about 40 I know, I minutes. I saw you over there doing something. Yeah, but I, right. I, thought that, I thought it overheated, but it wound up it was a loose battery good, cable, good. but it's fixed. So. Very good, very good. All is well that ends well. What did you rate yourself when you first came? About a one. Any change in that? I'm going to say about a one and a half. But okay, good. I know what to work on now. Mm -hmm. I know the process, so it's just going to be practice. Okay, good, good. And hopefully you'll be back in Jersey someday. And if not, I'll get to Georgia. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank there you. we go. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's Great a day. lot cheaper if you come to me. <laughs> yeah, Rob kicked my ass. I stopped. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> um, you enjoy yourself? I loved it, man. Awesome. Good, good. Next, next time I'll be back. Good. What would you rate yourself when you first came? Oh, came? eight. Oh, yeah, eight. Any change in that number? Oh, yeah, like a three. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, good man. Time. And Thanks, I think man. You, you did very good. Humble pie? Well, you know. All right, so Lance already said you kicked his ass. No, he didn't kick your ass. You know, you guys were pretty almost neck and neck, you know. And then when you, I knew that was going to be it. But, but the truth be told, you actually got him in exercise before. I didn't want to push it, though. Anyway, you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I had a good time.
What'd you rate yourself when you first came? Uh, a, four, a four to five. Are you changing it? I, no, I think about the same. Okay. You okay. know, like I said, I think about half the ride of you are. So until okay. you go up, I'll stay there. I'm not going up, man. So <laughs> nice. always a pleasure to see a you, lot man. More to learn. Thank you. You got it, brother. Get one of those. You enjoy yourself, man. I had a great time. You did great out here, man. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I learned a lot. It was it was good boost for the confidence. Absolutely. What'd you rate yourself when you first came today? Did I ask you what you rated yourself? I rated myself around a four. Any change in that number? Yeah, maybe a five. Okay, good. Every time somebody goes up, I take the mic quick. I want you to change your mind. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> um, did you enjoy yourself? I did. Good, man. The moral juice, the moral gets you. Gucci. Gucci, I was Gucci. close. Yeah. That Gucci, we got to keep that Gucci loaded. Yeah. You remember yep. what you rated yep. yourself when you first came? One. Any change in that? I'll go to a two, two okay. and a half. Yep. Okay, good. Pleasure to yep. meet you. Same here. And if I'm back here, definitely, but otherwise, Pool Absolutely, of absolutely. Pool of Georgia. Appreciate it. All right, man. All right. Do you, I'm just kidding. You enjoy yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. I had a great time. Good. Phenomenal. What did you rate yourself when we first came? Zero. Are you changing that number? I say a one. Okay, good. Give me the mic. I don't want you changing the number. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, man. All right. Okay. So. Now, so it's funny because I see some people, actually, Dave is, Dave is one of them. Dave's just trying to will that motorcycle to turn. He's like, come on, turn. <laughs> you just got to do that. <laughs> you enjoy yourself? I love it. Thank you. Bro. Yeah. Uh, what did you reach when we first came? Two. Any change in it? Two and a half. Yeah, but I know what I got to work. Good, gotta work. good. Got to work. Remember, I always say in Preloader Nation, we identify and retry. If you keep... If you do something wrong and don't know what you did wrong, you're just going to keep doing it, right? And then frustration kicks in. So that's good. Pleasure to see you, man. I appreciate Always. you, brother. Thank you very much. All right, man. The man that made this all possible. Thanks, man. No, I didn't make it possible. You made it possible. Oh, stop with the humbleness. Hey, hey no. This taught me a lot today. I can do this a lot of places, but I can't do it if, unless I have a location. So and the, to good. have a location with facilities and bringing us yeah, stuff, good. listen. No, man. Thank above you. Above and beyond, man. Thank you. Had appreciate a great time. You. You're, you're a patient instructor believe Thank me you. and i got all the foundations so i just got to practice that's practice, it practice <laughs> practice 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 what did you rate yourself when you first came out two any change in that uh eh, two <laughs> okay i'm I, we'll work on it i'm a strongly disagree because when you rated yourself first time you tried that u-turn wasn't happening but yeah. you did it yeah so how the hell could you still be a two all right thanks man. the math don't add up joe <laughs> what's your name bud wade wade smith Wait, where are you from? I'm from uh, Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And you're a preloader? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an instructor for a lock and lean, but I understand and I subscribe to the preload technique. Exactly. You subscribe to my channel? I do. That's a preloader. That's okay. A preloader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a preloader. <laughs> okay. And tell me what you do. You're an instructor, right? For lock I'm and lean? I'm an instructor with lock and lean. I'm also part of their uh, national competition team. Okay, good. And you tell me where you uh, do the instructions or who or somebody from lock and lean. We have a, a class uh, uh -huh. every other month at the uh, Brookdale mm -hmm. Community College. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm from Where's that? It's about 15 minutes north of here. Oh, okay. Okay. And I you believe it's Middletown. Middletown three days, you said? It's a three-day class. Okay. It, it's the first three days of police motor school. How can people get in touch with you if they want to go do it? Lockandlean.com. Lockandlean.com. All right, man. It's pleasure. It's a pleasure.